<laughs> Someone said, why are you wearing boxers to the stream? I'm wearing my, my, my kickboxing shorts because it's first thing in the morning. I didn't crash my house at 9 a.m. You told me to come! And who's, all right, can we real quick get this out of the way? They're mad at me for bailing like 30,000 times, but basically I was supposed to stream days ago. Tell them whose fault it was that we didn't stream yesterday, the day before, etc. Yours. How? Because you didn't turn up. What are you talking about? You didn't turn up. I've been in your house every day. I said 10 p.m. It's 11 p.m. You said I'm about to leave. Nah, that's unacceptable. You were late. Well, I was late that one. You were tardy. I was tardy. There you go. But to be fair, mm -hmm. uh, I came early this time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Chat, we are live. I know it's been a minute since I've been live. I've been out uh, in Dubai. This guy brought me out here. You know what I'm saying? He flew me out. He got me right first class. Why you got broke YouTube? Bro, for the 8,000th time, I have American non broke YouTube. I pay 12 dollars a month, whatever it is, bro. It's not my fault. They hit me with the Dubai ads. They're playing adverts because you don't have YouTube premium. Okay, you have your shirt off, right? I was curious. It's, it's your household. I'm going to ask out of respect. To not make things weird, may I please take my shirt off? I'm going to put a shirt I'd rather put a shirt on. Should I put a shirt on? Put it on. Okay. No problem. And then while I'm putting a shirt on, can you uh, sign up for YouTube Premium, please? Yeah. Sign up for YouTube Premium. Um, okay. That's a robe. It's not really a shirt, but okay. <clears throat> Bro, it's my house. True. I'm have you signed up for YouTube Premium? I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that shit, bro. Like, what, do, you have a, do you have a deal with YouTube now? Why do you care so much? I've never seen anybody of, of significant standing in society have broke YouTube. Crackheads watch adverts on YouTube. Bro, I, I'm, not buying the, I'm not buying it, bro. I'm not buying that shit. I already have it on my phone. I have YouTube Premium. I have it. Show me. Show me the YouTube app okay. on your phone. I will. Look. I bet you're lying. How much do I bet? It just played adverts in front of me. Premium. Then how come you just played ads? Because I'm not signed into my YouTube. Can I just say something first off before we start the stream? By the way, guys, the notifications go out or no? I want to let you know, bro. Three things. The first of all, thank you for inviting me out here. That's first of all. You're welcome. Second of all, um, you changed my life, bro. Have I? Yes. Tell me why. <laughs> and I see you a little bit getting a little smiley here. Well, I've changed, hey, listen, I've changed a lot of people's lives. You have. But here's my thing, right? The thing is this, right? You have changed my life in a better way. I have realized a lot of things uh, of the things you've spoken into, okay? Yeah. And I'm really starting to take my life seriously this time. I think you could tell that I'm serious. I came out here literally to be under your wing in a way. And um, I don't know, I feel good about myself, bro. What have you changed? What action have you taken? Or is it still, still in the stage where it's in your mind and you're starting to understand? It's great you asked. Uh, I'm currently not fucking uh, anybody. Okay, uh, no hoes or anything like that. I'm, um, so, what is it? See, so, I'm not fucking, I'm not coming. Celibate. Celibate. I don't advocate for that. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with fucking bitches. You told me I'm, I'm not supposed to fuck girls. No, I said you're supposed to stay away from degeneracy, but you can still get like four wives. Oh, okay. Well, so I can still fuck like girls? You can have four wives, yeah, of course. How many wives do you have? Four. You have four girls? Four wives. Why? Sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect. Fine. Sorry. But no, I'm not saying, I've never actually, let's make this clear. I say avoid degeneracy as a whole, and a lot of degeneracy involves women doing stupid shit and parties and this kind of crap. But I don't advocate for avoiding sexual Hold on, everyone's saying I'm a fuck, I look like a fucking little person right now. I, I don't. I don't. He even said when I first met him that I, I'm actually very tall and, I, and I'm skinny in real life. You did say that. Vouch. You said that to me. You said, oh, wow, young man, you actually are really fit. Where's your wife? You need to get a good, wholesome woman. Well, it's kind of fucking hard. We're in 2020, 22. There's, it's really hard to get a fucking a nice, pleasant lady, bro. Find them. How? Well, first things first, you have to find a good blueprint. I don't believe you find a good, completed woman. You find a good blueprint, one who is capable of learning and understanding that you can help grow, and then you turn her into the perfect woman. You must build the woman. How? By leading by example. Where do I get the blueprint? Where? You know what I like about him? He's trying not to break it. You're smiling a lot. I'm smiling. You are. You're admired. You're. Yeah. Be honest. Did you? Do you? Do you, are you glad I'm, I'm happy, here? I'm happy to smile because I like the questions you're asking. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Go ahead. How do you find the blueprint in a woman? All right. So I'm just, and I'm actually smiling. The true reason I'm smiling is every single time I answer anything about women, I smile a little bit because I know that there's gonna be a field day at the Matrix. But oh. truthfully, you need to find a woman who's not completely corrupted by society and not broken. Oh That's no. That's what you have to do. Uh -huh. Find one who's not broken and corrupted. And then you need to show her that there's more happiness for you and her living a life of truth. Right. Living a life of, 
away from the degeneracy. And then you need to be man enough for her to respect you and allow you to lead her to the promised land. That's how. You're never going to find a complete and perfect complete woman. You're going to have to... Build it in. You're going to have to build her. Okay. There's two... Please understand that either you are programming your woman's mind or society is programming your woman's mind. And if you're going to allow society to program her mind, do you think she's going to be an honest, good person? No. What is society telling her to do? Tell her to not do that? Well, society is telling her to be a 304. What's that? Well, let's just, I'm saying things I'm allowed to say on Twitch. But what's a 304? You can, you can tell me. You can work it out. But 304? Yeah. Ask Fresh and Fit. They'll tell you. Society is telling her to be degenerate and promiscuous, right? Okay. But you have to tell her the opposite. So it's your programming against society's programming. If you just leave her to be empty without programming, I don't believe that women truly operate in that realm. I think to one, de to one degree or another, they're always programmed by someone or something. So you have to combat society's programming as a whole. That's how you build a good woman. You have to sit with your woman. Let me ask you a question. Can you take a hoe and could you make her a queen? I could. Could I? No. At the absolute elite, at the top echelons of masculine experience, you can turn a hoe into a housewife. But why would I want to do that? You want to just take a housewife and build what you No, want. you don't find a housewife. This is my exact point. You, have you to find make... a good woman. Yeah. And then you sit there and watch Netflix with her and say, this is garbage. And she'll sit there and go, yes, you're right. This is garbage. And you awaken her to the matrix. When you find a good woman, she watches the bullshit from the matrix Wait, and says, if this is garbage. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be like these other girls. You're right, Andrew. Thank you for saving me. Can you saved me from the degeneracy, Andrew. You are my Lord. What would you like me to do for you? That's what happens. Hmm. Wow. It's true. I have a question. If, if you're with a girl laying in your bed and she turns on an Aiden Ross stream, what would you do just out of curiosity? That's a very interesting scenario because I cannot possibly fathom the level of female which would watch you for entertainment. Hey. No, but I mean, no, this is not an insult. I'm trying to think. So there's a chick, like a female, mm. I want to watch Aiden Ross, which, what kind of, that I can't even see that happening. Uh, I can't see, I can't see that, bro, not in my world. All right, hold on. How many, everyone in this chat, how many guys have a pussy in here? Put me in the chat. Let's just see how many people got pussies, all right? How many guys got a pussy, all right? How many guys would fuck me and Andrew? How many guys got a pussy in here? Let's just look what they say. Look, me, me, me. Look, what people are being me. They're all putting me, Andrew. Look, somebody named Katie, me. Anyway, let's go back to the point. Women are built. So I'll give you examples of this, right? People will see me with my, one of my wives. And she'll be respectful. She'll be getting everybody drinks. She'll be tidying up after everybody. She'll be making sure we all have a good time. She'll be a great host. She'll be gorgeous, etc. And they'll go, wow, where'd you find her? I didn't find her anywhere. I made her that way. She wants to be that way for me. Oh. She wants to be that way for me. If she was with some pussy, then she wouldn't act that way. Okay. So and, there's, and there's endless proof of this. Any real G who's out here long enough knows a girl who was a complete nightmare for her ex and now she's a complete pussycat for the next dude. Oh, I see what you're saying. A woman is a reflection of her man. So if you want a good woman, you have to be a good man. And, and, and please understand, like I said earlier, it's absolutely not really true. Women are programmed by one of two things, either you or society. If you allow society to program your female, she's only going to be a detriment on your life. And I would like to add in with Aiden Ross's advice, um, women are a program society and so are men. You're so scared again. Okay? Hey, buddy, we're on fucking Twitch. You think I want to get fucking... Hey, bro, I'm not like you. I can't make millions off the fucking internet. I need this shit or I'm fucking done. I'm smoked. Then I'm going to have to work for you and you're going to yell at me all fucking day. Yeah, I would. If I lose, my, yes, yes, if I I lose this shit, I'm working with you. You're taking me <laughs> off the bathroom, bro. Bro, if you can't work for me, you don't, you're not ready for the war. I'm, a, I'm, in huh? I'm an endless battle against the Matrix. The agents of the machine are trying to fucking destroy me. You wait, to, so am I going to join this? my team? You, am can't, I? you can't handle life on my side. Wait, am I going to get destroyed? Am I part of this now? No, you're a, new, you're, a, okay. you're a neutral civilian, an NPC. I'm not a bot, dumbass. You are a little bit. No, I'm not. I know what's going on. We had some very intellectual conversations off camera. You know, I, I right? I was talking my shit. I was saying good things, and I, and I know about the world. To go back to your point earlier about men being programmed by the, the matrix and society also. Yeah, I agree. Of course, everybody's programmed by society. You're a fucking whole. NPC, bro. No, everybody's programmed by society. That's true. Yes, thank you. But men operate and live in a slightly different realm than females because men live in a realm of absolute accountability and competency. So do girls. No, they don't. Girls have accountability and responsibility. <laughs> to who? Women, if you're a beautiful Yo! woman. Bro, bro, please understand me. If you're a beautiful woman... You're afforded luxuries. And one of the luxuries you're afforded is the ability to be wrong. Women can go through life 
and be wrong about things because they're hot. Okay. A man can't be wrong because you're living in a world of competency and accountability. You have to find the best way to possibly perform to get ahead. A woman doesn't have to do that. You can sit, you can go on a date with a woman and sit there and she can tell you about magical crystal skulls and how she believes in them. And this magical crystal skull gives her positive energy and it helps her feel good. And every time she's sick, she rubs the crystal skull and she feels better. And because she's smoking hot, nine times out of 10, a man will sit there and go, yeah, Interesting. Okay. And she'll just believe this fantasy until her tits get saggy. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but true. as a dude, as a dude, you can't do that. Okay, I can. Look, let, let's look at this. Let's say I, it's the other way around. Maybe maybe I'm with a girl and she's like, oh my God, Aiden Ross, you're so fucking hot. I want to fuck the shit out of you. But I'm like, okay. Aiden, that's never happened. Really? Don't don't shit on me like that, I'm much, bro. bro. Let's be honest. That's never happened. I'm better looking than you. Perhaps. But that's never happened. Okay. Has that ever happened to you? What? Someone's like, Aiden Ross, you're so hot? Aiden yes. Ross, you're so hot, I want to fuck you. Yes, it has. You're my lying. Chat, my chat seen it a thousand times. I want to fuck you. Bro, that's never happened. Bro, bro, it literally has on stream. It literally has. I get what you're saying. However, it, it can go both ways. What if a girl is super duper attracted to a guy, okay? And the guy happens to maybe say something that like is like, oh my God, what the fuck is he talking about? The girl's like, oh my God. Okay. It could be like this too. What if the guy's super duper fucking rich? And the girl's like, and maybe I'm talking about fucking crystals and aliens fucking in the butt. And the girl's like, oh, that's kind of weird, but fuck it, I want to fuck them. How did the dude get super rich? Because what you just described, you're making false comparisons. They're not the same, and I'm about to explain to you why. I said that the woman is allowed to be incorrect on certain issues and not live in the real world because she is born with an innate value. She's born with beauty, which is given to her by God. You are comparing that to a man's money, which is fine. Not just money. It's, a, it's an example. Okay, it's an example. But in most cases, perhaps he has daddy's money. But in most cases, the man had to earn that money. He earned that value. So they're different things. Comparing innate value and an earned value are completely different scenarios. True. Do you understand? Hold on. Are, are, we like, are we frozen? Yo, yo. Yo. Maybe it's them trying to stop us from having this combo. The Matrix. We ain't frozen, G. We're not? Nah. That guy's really scary for a second. I think we were, yeah, we were frozen for a second. That's scary, Andrew. You call that scary? Are you not scared? Bro, your life has been easy. You're scared of a frozen stream? Yo, Andrew. Okay, Hasn't we're anyone tried to kill you? Yeah. Okay, then what the fuck you worried about? Bro, it's hot in here. I'm sorry, Andrew. You can't get mad at him, bro. It's, it's hot. It's, it's ridiculously hot, man. You have the AC at like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, bro. It's ridiculous. There's no air coming in. I can't do this. That's fine. Thank if, you. If you're prepared to show that to the world, then... <laughs> Come on! Don't body shame me, man. I'm body shaming. I'm gonna cancel you for body shaming me in 2020, 2022. Oh no! Yeah. Don't cancel me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm not scared of getting canceled. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I am body shaming you. I'm trying to inspire you. Body shaming is a fantastic inspiration. In fact, I think that you know, bullying as a whole has always been a good way to get a lot of shit done. Okay. What was your first impression when you saw me in person? Uh, I have nothing bad to say about you. Either. I do like you. I know you do. I know you like me. No, I have nothing against you. I, I think, know. I think you're like a perfect example of everything that, let me say this in the right way. You are the perfect example of like just the normal-ish dude. Okay. You know? So it's like I'm here trying to inspire excellence and there's nothing about you that's excellent. So it's perfect okay. for me to sit here with you and say, look, you could be better. That's I know I could be better. I'm potentially not on my potential. Exactly. Yes, I, I could be better. I could do things. That, I could better my life. I could better my body. I could better my mindset. I could better my everything. Correct. This is my first time really ever traveling across the fucking world. And I came for you. I didn't come for anything else. You. You. You came all the way here with Brokey YouTube. Bro, it's because I'm in the Dubai fucking servers, bro. And they fucking put shit. You flew all the way here with Brokey you, broke you YouTube on your phone. Bro. It's because I'm in the Dubai YouTube servers, bro. The YouTube shit kicked me out. I swear, bro. Anyway, what was I saying earlier? I was talking about something important like I usually am. The realm of competency in which a man must operate. Aiden, I'm you, must, you must operate inside of a realm of absolute competency. Your, your, your goal as a man, your mission as a man is to discover the truth. Because you must find the truth of the universe and the truth of the world because only the truth will set you free. You're not born with an innate value like a female is. A female can be born beautiful. She doesn't need to be interested in the truth. She can just be happy, believe in fairies and crystal skulls and go through life and be happy. What's actually interesting is men find that attractive. I find permanently happy women attractive. Women who don't live in the harsh, brutal realities of the world who are perhaps 
a bit too optimistic and airy fairy or very attractive to men. Because yes. if a man has a very difficult life, he likes the idea of always being around a happy woman. For sure. I don't want a woman who's gone through the same kind of trauma and stress that I have. But as a man, you must go through a process of discovering what is true and what is false about the world and de developing absolute and utter competency so you can outcompete other men. Life is a competition. All of this is a competition. We are constantly competing against each other, Aiden. Men are in constant competition. This is why there's been endless wars since the beginning of human time. <laughs> do you not understand? Yes, I do. No, you don't understand. Yes, I do. The Aztecs were at war with somebody. The Mao dynasty was at war with somebody. There was endless wars in the savannah when we, before we were even born. The Mongols, the Mongols were sieging Vienna. What's that? There has been endless war, constant competition. And that has been forgotten. Okay, fine. I so understand. You have to Robo. out compete every other man for everything you have ever wanted. That's ever. fine. No, it's not fine. Uh, play me an arm wrestle right now. What's arm wrestle? I'll beat you an arm wrestle. All right. It's arm wrestle. All right. Mods, let's get prediction. I get a little bit of a head start or something. It's only fair. You want to sit up tall, huh? You think you're a tough guy. How about you take off those fucking sunglasses? Look me in the eyes, huh? Come on. I've got bad eyes, but I'll take them off temporarily. Take them off for me. <laughs> oh, all right, look me in the eyes. All right, here's what we're going to do. You have to give me a head start. It's only fair. How the fuck does a head start? In life, there are head starts with certain people. How does a head start work? You have to give me a mercy rule. You have to give me a mercy rule. Just go. Okay, ready? Ready. Three, two. Okay, let's try again. All right, ready? Ready. Go. Bro, why'd you slam it that hard? What the fuck? Try your left hand. I am strong on my left because I jerk off my left hand. Bro, why? I wash my hands when I just This poop. is fucking haram. No. <laughs> You're not going to sit in Dubai. I'm sorry. In my house oh, and say fuck. this shit. I'm tripping, I know. I, I forgot where I am. Oh my God, don't not kill me, please. I'm sorry, bro. I actually forgot where the fuck I am. Holy fuck. Uh, do you, how do I make it up to you? Like, I actually, I'm really, I didn't know what the, bro, on my left, bro, please, bro. I swear to God, I bro, I forgot for a second. My fucking funny bone got fucked up. It's fuzzy right now. My arm, my dead arm. I'm really fucking sorry, bro. It's fine. Let's try one more time. I want to try one finger. Okay. Two fingers. Let me try two fingers. All right. Two fingers. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Go. Go. My left hand. Let me try my left hand, please. No, because you said a bunch of weird shit. I know, but I don't jerk off. Maybe I can beat you with one finger. Let me just meditate and gather my chi. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready? Go. go. Oh, I'm going to win this one. Oh my god! What the fuck? Holy shit balls, bro! Ow! Fuck. That really hurt. You have training to do. One finger, Aiden! I know, but you're strong. One finger! You're a kickboxing champion. You're a kickboxing champion, bro. You are. There's nothing I can fucking do about that, bro. There is something you can do about it. You can become stronger. Okay. You were just decimated in front of the world. Life is a constant competition, like I said. Now, the, let's imagine in the br brutal realities of Earth. Take away this soft society bullshit. The brutal realities of Earth. You and I are stranded on a desert island with 50 females. Wait, can I say what? Quiet. Oh, okay. 50 females. And those 50 females just witnessed this. I would be fucking 50 women and you would be by yourself. I think I'd get one of them. You wouldn't get a single one after what they just fucking yeah, witnessed. I think I not would. Not one. I'd get one. Not a single one would accept I would to get, be with you. I would get one. At least you get 49, I can't have one of them. No. You wouldn't give me one of them to, to you know, make love. Fuck no. You don't deserve well, it's not. It's None not. of them will want you. <laughs> He's None laughing. of them will want listen, you. Listen, listen, listen. None listen. of them will want you. Listen, 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 listen. You want to try again? I insist you beat me. If I beat you, I get one. Sure. Let me get two hands. Let me, gather my let me, get, my left, let me get my left hand. No, because you said weird shit. No, all right, fine. Truthfully, I, I'm lefty in basketball. That's why I'm strong in this hand. I don't jerk off my left hand anymore. I stop. Come on, bro. I haven't done it in a really, like, couple weeks. Come on. All right, let me get one finger again. Two fingers, two. Two fingers? Yes. Left hand? Yes, left hand. Okay, two fingers, left hand. Ready? Right. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna win this one. Yeah, Baldy, yeah, Baldy, yeah. I am four, I fuck. Mr. Tate. Oh my god! Ow! My fucking arm! You tore like a fucking testament, bro! I just started winning. You, you quit. Jesus Christ! I'm being honest, I think you pull a muscle in my arm, bro. Muscle? You call that muscle? You couldn't beat my fingers. 
Listen. Aiden. I have a single female on earth would choose you over me, not one. I'd be standing there in my harem. Hey, Ed. What's going on? Hey, Ed. You good? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Did you just lose the one finger? Yes. How the fuck did you know that? <laughs> I can. <laughs> You've upset the universe. Wait, is that bad? Yeah, that's, that's horrible. But like, how bad? I just want to come look through your eyes and just. Come on, man. One finger? Bro, bro, I'll explain it, bro. I swear. You know what it is? And I started beating my shit with this hand, and I, sw I swapped. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot where it were. I'm sorry, bro. I'll, I'll explain it later, Aiden. My bad, bro. Oh my god, Aiden, you're fucking disappointed. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. That was fucking insane. I can't believe what I just said. You want to smoke a cigar? It'll maybe calm my nerves. I'm just nervous to see him be in front of you. Bro, all right, bro. Let me chill the fuck out, bro. I would be standing Wait, there. can we go Ant versus Tate in arm wrestle? He'll beat me, I think. He's a big, he's a big man. <laughs> Let's go back can to we, the point. Can we just see you lose at something? Can I get in here and you... Mm, maybe later. Let's <laughs> let's stay focused. All right. I, have, I have points to make. I would be standing there with my harem of 50 women, obviously. My, my genetic legacy secured. And you would be standing there alone by yourself, begging for scraps. And every single female, even the ugly ones, because there's 50, right? So it's going to be a hierarchy. I'd find the ugliest of the 50 and say, hey. shut up. I'd find the ugliest of the 50 and say, listen, you're not as beautiful as the others. I rarely service you. You're the ugliest of the group. Do you want to go hang around with Aiden? And guess what she will say? What? No! I do not want to be with Aiden! Please, can I stay in your tent? Yo, this motherfucker is tent. crazy! I'm not crazy, first this all, is true! All girls are this is true! All girls are beautiful. And that's a fact. That's first of all. Second of all, maybe the one that's less attractive physically, but she still has a beautiful soul, beautiful heart, okay? And beautiful mindset, and, and, and poor innocent beauty in her mind. She will be like, you know what? I'm attracted to you because you have a big heart too, Aiden. I'm gonna roll with you. That's the truth. I have a big heart, one, but it's not even about that. In the brutal reality, what's like, the biggest thing about you? Like the big, you, you must have something huge about yourself. What's the biggest thing? Your ego, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think I'm egotistical at all. <laughs> okay, so what's the biggest thing? Uh, do you think I have an ego? How do I have an ego? Why am I egotistical? I mean, I have an ego. Do you? Why? Yeah. Why? Over what? Um, Why? So I noticed this myself, right? I'm very spoiled now, and I think it's because of ego. Spoiled, being spoiled is ego, right? I think so, yeah. So like, I love to just have like a lot of food, like the nicest food. I love food. I love eating at nice restaurants. When he took me to um, dinner the other night, it was it was spectacular because I love eating like luxurious food. He took me to a very nice restaurant, and it was really nice. That was actually our first time we met in person. Look at him trying not to break character. I can break your character. No, I've I'm, never seen. Yes, I'm, I break his. No, I'm not. No, it's not character. Because no. I'm not a character. The reason I am laughing, it's like, it's not disappointment. It's it's, right, it's slight amusement, but it's just like, it's just like, bro. I have so much work to do to try and save Earth. Yes, I know. I know. I do. You're an example of how much work I have All right. to do. Really? I'm not even that fucking bad. I bro. have to save Earth. I've been sent here. God has entrusted me. The top. All right. Let's test something out. I'm Ready? the number one angel. The last guy here to try and fight against the forces of his judgment. Let me, let me test you out with something. Andrew, look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Take off your glasses. Look at me in the eyes. I want to try something. Please. It's, it's an exercise. Take off your glasses and, and just look at me in the eyes. Deep eye contact. It's not going to be weird. Sure. All right. Look at me. Keep that face, okay? No matter what. No matter what's said or done. Oh, so you want me, it's a smile test? I have nothing wrong, I have nothing against smiling. Okay. I'm a happy person. I know. I want to see if you can't smile, if I can't make you smile. I'm, I'm sure you can, go on. Smile if you like dick. Okay, my bad. It didn't work on you. Of course it didn't. If you do one more haram thing in my house. I'm, I'm getting kicked out. I won't even do it. Can we well, the stream will end. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. That's one what, more and the stream will end. We'll draw the line there. I'm, I'm sorry. That was very haram. I'm not going to lie. That was bad. I'm sorry, sir. I won't disrespect your household point of time. Um, I'm really sorry. Can we, can we smoke a cigar now? I want to smoke. You said we would smoke. You said you could play chess. Yes, but why don't we smoke? Like, you said you could play chess. And I can't. I, 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 want, a te I want a chess tournament in the seventh grade. And I got a big bag of chocolate candy. Is that what happened to you? Was that the beginning of the end? Bro, what the fuck, bro? Really? Let me tell you something about the world that everyone's fucking forgotten. And I don't want this to be misconstrued. And I'm not saying that bullying is good, but I'm saying that gentle reminders from your superiors that you're inferior is a very good motivating factor. 
Okay. So for me to start calling you Pudgy Aiden, for example, um, would be a fantastic way to get you in the gym. You may not believe it, but it's true. You call it body shaming. I call it motivation. So you think if everyone starts calling me Pudgy, I'm going to want to get in the fucking gym? Pudgy Aiden, yeah. All right. If you dick suckers dick suck him and start calling me Pudgy Aiden, you guys are the part of the problem of the society. Hey, they'll stop calling you Pudgy Aiden if you go to the gym. If you train, they can't call it to you anymore, can they? Whose fault is it you're called Pudgy Aiden? Myself. Correct. But do you see potential in me as a human being, as a, as a man? Do you see potential in me? When you were 22, you were not in shape. You didn't have a fucking body like that. You, you weren't the best kickboxer in the world. I wasn't the best kickboxer in the world, but I was in shape. Let me get a hit, bro. No, I was in shape. Of course I was in shape when I was How 22. do I How do I smoke? Of course I was in shape when I was 22. Okay. Firstly. Yeah. Secondly, there's potential inside of every single human on earth. That's what I'm bro, doing. Bro, stop there. calling me Pudgy Aiden. Y'all are dick sucking, bro. Stop sucking his fucking dick. Y'all are fucking weird, bro. Pudgy Aiden, quiet. Listen. This is the beautiful thing about God and life. There's potential inside of every single one of us. This is what God has given us. He's instilled potential in every single person on the planet. And this is what my job is here. Top G. I am here to inspire and to show that every single person out there, you don't have to be a loser. You don't have to be pudgy like Aiden. You can be important and rich and strong and beautiful like me. This is what I do. I exist to serve as the right, ultimate right. example of the peak echelon of masculinity. This is what I am alive I am, for, Aiden. I am, I am a masculine fucking man. Do you understand? And that's why you're out of smile. Don't fucking smile at me. Don't laugh at me like that. Let me just show you my muscles. No weird shit. It's not going to be weird unless you make it weird. Just, okay? It's not. Don't make it weird. Here, you want me to turn I've already, I've already seen... You don't have to... Please don't take the shirt off. Okay. Well, I wanted to show you with me first. There's nothing there. Please. I have, don't I don't have, waste the stream's time. I have a muscle... Muscular... Is it, do you guys want to see it? Yes or no? Let me hear let me know right now, bro. L Pudgy Aiden. Y'all are fucking weird as fuck, bro. Go fuck yourselves, all of you, bro. Gently from the bottom of my fucking heart. Okay, they're all saying no. Whatever, bro. Y'all are a bunch of fucking dick suckers, bro. You guys would suck this man's dick if he whipped it out in front of you guys. Guess how weird you guys are. Can I get a hit, bro? I'll give you a cigar here. Cool. How much are these cigars worth, by the way? A couple hundred bucks or something. Her cigar? Yeah. How do I do it? Which side of this side, right? Oh, other way. You can light it. How do I do it? Sorry, anyway, I just don't know how to do it. Nicotine and caffeine are miracle drugs. Sorry, what? Nicotine and caffeine are miracle drugs. It's fire blood. Lots of nicotine, lots of caffeine. What do I do? Just suck on it? I'm sure you can work out how to light a cigar. Again, there was no flame on the light. There you go. You're not. Oh, I got it. Leave me. The fire is barely aiming at the cigar. <coughs> Bro, what's in here? What'd you put in here, bro? Did you lace me? Right. Don't you wake up and think, how do I become the best man on the planet? Does that never cross your mind? <laughs> no! Don't you wake up and look at yourself deep in your own eyes in the mirror and say, how do I become the most fearsome competitor on the face of the planet? How do I become that guy nobody wants to compete against? Yeah. Give me one second. No, you fucking don't. How the fuck? When have you ever said that to yourself ever? You don't do shit. You wake up and think, oh. I have. That's, what, that's basically what's in your brain. Can I get up? I'm Can I get up and get my thing? What do you get? Nothing weird. That's not gonna be weird. Can I get it? That's not weird, I promise you. All right. Don't judge me either. I have my coffee. I was on the way here, Andrew, and I was really tired because I didn't really sleep well, and I got myself up a lot there. Are you a lost cause? Am I wasting my time? No. Why is there not? There could be a version of Aiden which is like jacked and rich. I'm gonna be there. I'm like four wives. I'm gonna be God there. God fearing. Well, I don't know about four wives. I feel like uh, should, is, is four wives really necessary? At least, minimum. How else are you gonna have 20 sons? You, I have to have 20 sons? Of course you do. What else are you alive for? Why? God put you in a position of absolute favor. You're an extremely spoiled and lucky individuals living a very privileged life. Okay. You're rich as fuck for okay. your age. Okay. Why would your number one concern not be showing God that you're happy with what he's given you by becoming the best version of yourself and reproducing to the point where you have 20 genetic legacies? What, what else are you gonna do with your life? Why wouldn't you wanna have 20 sons? But let me ask you a question. How would, three reasons why. Number one, I wanna be able to like, are you, if you have 20 sons one day, are you gonna be able to keep, keep in touch with all of them? What do you mean, of course? You're going to remember all their names and... They're all going to be called Emory Andrew Tate. All of them. All of them. They're all the same name? Yes. 
You're serious. 100% serious. Okay. Um, so the name thing's easy. What's the next question? Okay. Um, is that going to make life for them harder? Why would it be harder? What are they going to be brought into? Are they going to have to, how are they going to like live their lives? They're going to grow up in a Spartan mentality of constant war. They're going to be the next new, new top G's. Am I doing this right? Kind of. I don't know how you're managing to semi mess it up. Can you help me? Oh, wait, I got it. Andrew, please. I got it. How about you teach me things, Aiden? Okay. Want to learn something cool? No, I want, I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to teach me. Okay. Describe how, let's go back to the first question that was asked on this stream. How do you get a good girlfriend, a good woman? Who cares, good, good who question. cares about you? I'm going to tell you right now. I just want to like this so it looks like we're having a good combo. your question the way to find a wife in this world love comes to you you don't ever chase love it'll come to you when it's time the best things in life happen unexpected mr tate the best things in life when you're least expecting them when you're doing your own shit you're doing your normal routine schedule as a man the best things in life will come to you you don't find love it comes to you that is my story you're wrong you're completely wrong I don't think anything good in life happens by accident. If you find a person who's in fantastic shape and you say to them, how did you get in such good shape? They very rarely say, oops, I don't know. It just came to me. They say, I had to get up and plan for it and train specifically and eat specifically and do specific things to end up looking this way. They had to try very hard for it. Same if you find somebody who's rich, right? Okay. Even you, as incapable as you are, the way you're rich is because you know you had to stream every day. It was done on purpose. You yes, say, that's true. You're right. You don't say, oops, I just got rich. It was an accident. I don't know. But can I tell you? Sitting around waiting for love to come to you is the biggest mistake a man can make. You are going to have to make yourself first lovable. If you want love to turn up. Now, I agree with what you're saying because at certain echelons of the human experience, that is true. Like my experience. Love turns up to me on accident because all females on the planet adore me. Considering I'm a famous misogynist, all I get is thousands of emails a day from females saying that I'm the last real man on earth and they'd happily marry me and they wish more men were like me, etc. Women absolutely adore me. But I made myself super lovable. You have to make yourself lovable first. If you're just a normal dude sitting around waiting for the perfect chick to just appear in your life, you're going to end up very disappointed and very lonely. So you are wrong. Incorrect. Got it. I do like what you said about working out and I do also like what you said about um, grinding for something. Yes. If you want results, you have to grind. You have to know what you're doing. You have to work hard for something. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Luck came with me blowing up though. There's a clip going around when you said, Aiden, what makes you so fucking, you know? Yeah. I told you I'm good with networking. I'm good with, yeah. I'm here for a reason, right? I'm here. You brought, yeah. you yeah. could have chose any other Aiden Ross. You told me, why did you choose me? Yeah. Any other Aiden Ross. You let me come to you. And you say you don't like people. You like your inner circle and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So why me? Why, why do you like me? What do you see in me? Be honest. What the fuck do you see in me? There's a lot of people watching this who see themselves in you. So by yelling at you, I get to yell at everybody else. You're a good proxy. So you're basically saying I'm a fucking sheep, like for the- No, no, not in a horrible way. I'm saying you're a good proxy. I'm saying that across our relationship for the next five to 10 years, when people see your life drastically improve because of the information and the motivation that I provide you, by proxy, I'm fixing the world. Guys, I don't think it has anything to do with clout. I feel like if I had zero followers, he would invite me. Of course. I agree. I know. I think he would have too. I, I think he would have. Absolutely. I think if I had zero followers, zero dollars, he would still we, have. We here. speak all the time, not on stream. We literally do all the time. It's crazy. How do I like this, bro? The proper way, because you're getting a lot of smoke, and I want to do a little cool. It looks cool. How do I do it? Thank you. Anyway, what do you mean it was luck? You blowing up? Why was it lucky? Of course, it's luck. It of, came, of course, it, there's a degree of luck, but did one specific thing happen? Or? Of course, I had a lot of moments. I had a moment where I talked to LeBron James on the fucking microphone and that brought a lot of eyes on me. I had a moment where um, I kissed a girl on a stream. Kissed a girl on a stream on a stream before in, in a hot tub and, and I had a lot of people on it. I had a, I had a, I had a moment where um, I had um, rappers on my stream and I was one of the first to do it. I had a lot of accolades that I've done. I've met with people. I've linked people. I've I've been in a lot of they're so weird. Oh god, they're weird as fuck. What are they saying? They're saying that uh that's how I got made. They're basically saying like, well, I'll explain it. They're saying that she made me and shit. 
the girl. By me kissing her was like my biggest dream. I pulled like what, what, kissing a girl made you famous on Twitch? Is is that how pathetic the Twitch virgins of the world are? <laughs> you yeah, can't say that know? word. Why? The V word. Why? Um, it's an insult. Yeah. Is is that how pathetic the Twitch community is? That if you kiss a girl, you get famous? Like pretty one, much. Because one of you kissed a girl. <laughs> yes, literally. One guy kisses a girl. And he yes. Famous on literally. Twitch. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Twitch has failed society. Bro. Yo, Twitch, I love you. I love you guys so much with all my heart. Failed society. Bro. No. Unbelievable. No, I love it. So what do you have to say to everyone watching right now? This. That's crazy. Anyway, no, you I, know asked you, can I, say I asked you a question. You were trying to explain to me that love just turns up and you don't have to do any work and God's just going to give it to you. That's absolutely not really false. You're wrong. I agree with you on that, except you have to make yourself lovable, but then the girl will come. Do you agree? So you have to make yourself lovable to a, hold on, Andrew, hold on. You have to build up and grind yourself to become lovable, be the best version of yourself, and then the girl's gonna come. It's like this, you can't just run into a club and be like, hey, let's go on a date. Like, no. What do women find attractive in men? Okay. Uh, I think being a man, be, being, be, having the, um, I think being a man, I think every girl's different. I don't wanna speak for all girls, but I think, I think, I think being a man, right? What does that mean? What, do, what does a woman- Well, I know why girls find me attractive. Why? I'm, I'm handsome. That's why they find me attractive. That's why I get. That's why girls hit me up. That's why I've had girls. They don't. They don't look at me like, oh my god, he has a lot of fucking money. He has a lot of. No, they don't. They they come at me because I'm, I'm cute. I've heard it many times. That's what they all say. You're really cute. <laughs> heard it a thousand times. So in general, you think women find cute men attractive? Yes. What other qualities do women find attractive in men? Hardworking. Why would a woman find a hardworking man attractive? Because it's attractive. Why? I want a woman that's hardworking. Do you? Why? It's hot. Is it? Yeah. Well, she's independent. Do you want a girl to be independent or dependent? Dependent. On you? Completely. <laughs> Why? Why wouldn't I? I want an independent hardworking working, girl. What am I working so hard for? Inde and you say independent hardworking, but there's no such thing as truly independent, right? Guys, stop spamming Pudgy Aiden. That shit's a dead joke already, bro. It is a bit true. But... Why would you, there's no such, explain to me the life of an independent woman. Describe an independent woman to me. This is interesting. Hardworking. Hardworking where? Self-made. Hardworking where? Doing what? Making your own money. Doing what? On social media. I think that your, your concept is wrong. I think that uh, in a happy relationship, the man does a lot of the hard work and is out there suffering so that his woman can be dependent on him. I disagree If with she's you. not dependent on you, she's dependent on somebody else. I disagree. What if a girl's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month? Well, congratulations to her, but that still means she's dependent on something else outside of you, which is fine. But it depends if she's working like a job or doing OnlyFans or whatever. That just means she's dependent on other men. Yeah, but you have to... I have a lighter. Sorry. I just want to block into this combo. I get what you're saying. However, I want to disagree with you because listen, my thing is this, Andrew. I truly believe that independent women are strong. And I think all women, <clears throat> actually all women are strong, Andrew. All people are strong. All people are I'm strong. Not, I'm not trying to insult women in I know, way. I know. I'm just trying to ask you what do you think men and women find attractive about each other? And you're saying you find the idea of an independent woman attractive and I find let's it. Look at, let's look at someone like Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna's a, a fantastic, talented musician, correct? Okay. Agreed, yeah. She's worth a, how much that? A billion dollars. Sure. She's, she's independent. Well, I wouldn't find that any more attractive Let's say Rihanna is a sweet, kind, nice woman who is, uh, has a beautiful heart and soul and yeah. spirit. I wouldn't find her any more or less attractive depending on how much money is in her bank. You're I, right. I don't think it makes a difference to me. As, as a man, the amount of money in your bank makes a direct difference to how attractive you are to females. But as, a, as the other way around, as a female, I don't think a rich woman is any more attractive than a poor woman. I don't think that, that matters that much for men. You want a woman who's beautiful inside and out, but I don't think you really care about their bank balance unless you haven't got your own shit straight. I don't because I, I, there was a time in my life where I had zero dollars in my bank account. So I know, how, I know what it's like. Let's play chess. Okay. You said you're good, right? You have to put a bet on it though. Chess is a boring game unless you're fast paced. And I'm gonna move fast paced and talk a lot of shit to you because we have to entertain them. And chat, we're gonna be doing TTS while we play chess. Now, I wanna let everyone know right now, set a bet for me and him. Loser has to do what? It has, has to be a punishment, bro. Well, let's just do 10 grand. That's brokey shit. Or 100 grand. That's a lot of money. <laughs> you, haven't even got, you haven't even got YouTube premium, G. So I don't know what yes, I do. I'm, I got kicked out of my account because I'm in another country, bro. I literally came here for you. All right. Um, let's do this. Let me know when we're on TTS in a second. Let's do this. 
You said after this, we're going to go look at... We're perhaps going to go look at one of my cars that I might buy, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Loser has to buy another person a car. A, a sports car? Oh my God, no, I can't afford that right now. Come on, don't be a bitch. I, it, don't I, be a bitch. I you don't even work for your money. It's given to you for free by fucking Twitch. Just spend it. The fuck? I still have to work for it, bro. The fuck? You think you'd stream eight you hours lose, every single day? If you lose this game, you're buying my car. Hell no. But I'll do this. Give me... Fuck it. Loser, $20,000. 20 grand? Oh, right hand issue. 20 grand. 20 grand. 20,000. <laughs> on stream, right? Yes. 20 G's. Yes. All right, bro. All right, let me put on this text to speech chat. So you know what text speech is, right? <laughs> no, no. They really. can donate and they're going to say a message. Cool. And pretty much um, it could be anything. So cool. maybe they're asking for advice. Maybe they're, you know, talking about some real shit. You know what I mean? Um, wait a minute. Isn't that haram to gamble, Mr. Tate? It's a bet. Gambling is betting. Mm, it's, a, it's a gray area. Let's play. Wait a minute. Isn't it illegal to do it in Dubai? No, of course not. Uh, a, a wager between friends. All right. Make sure you guys donate right now with the link. Boris um, Serbian donated $5. He beat you because you're in the Matrix eight and weak, very weak. Fuck you. That's not, <laughs> bro, you're this, laughing at that whoa, shit? Oh, this is great. What's this? Text to speech. <clears throat> they donate like a dollar to pay. Aiden's weak, very weak. I like that. Hey, bro, you're, hey, bro, whoever donated that? K1X underscore X Gaming donated $1. Hi, Andrew Tate. I love you. Come on, let's go. All right. Pawn up. One. Daisy donated $1. Tate, let me be your fifth wife. That's a girl. Her name is Daisy. What would you say to her? What does she have to be to be your fifth wife? What does she have to do to be your fifth wife? I need to check her out, see her credentials. She's getting in touch with me somehow. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Chat, what time is it for motherfuckers in the chat? Where my, where my phone at, bro? Buzz donated $1. You don't work on Twitch. You haven't worked for a month. Hey, bro. You are a dick sucker, bro. That wasn't even funny, bro. This oh my, is hilarious. Word, word to my fucking... This is hilarious. Bro, that wasn't even funny, bro. It was funny. That was not even funny, bro. Y'all are a bunch of fucking dick suckers, bro. He's telling the truth. It's cat. All right. Um, You know what's crazy? Real shit, bro. We have, we have 150K right Ico now. Ico donated $1. In Tate We Trust. Dick sucker. In Tate We Trust. Now, remind me. The night, it goes... Right? You bet 20 grand, you don't know how the pieces move. I just forgot a little bit. I'm a little rusty. I want a chess yeah, tournament. That is how it is. Thank you. You want a chess tournament when you were how old? Seventh grade. Max Razi donated $1. Andrew, any tips for pulling girls in university? I need your help, Top G. Of course. I have a lot of tips. Oh my God. I can help you with all of these things. This is why I'm here. I'm yeah, sent bro. My God, your divine purpose <laughs> to help the world. I'm being absolutely and utterly serious. I can, there's not a single man on this planet who I cannot help. There's a reason I am in the position I am in, because I'm all, I am all knowing and very powerful. I, of course I can help this young man, but the Big person, Booty Billy donated $1. Pudgy Aiden. Bro, what I, <laughs> Andrew, you're fucking gassing me, bro. <laughs> Great. This is amazing. Back to the Pudgy Aiden. Chill out. Go, bro. I just fucking took your pawn, dummy, and pinned your knight to your queen. You're already fucked. Oh. Anyway, but talking about this man helping him to pull girls in university, don't focus on the girl, focus on yourself. If you're worried about the girl and not worried about yourself, you're gonna be wasting time and energy, right? It's easy, if you had to win a race, Abraham Lincoln said it. If I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first five hours sharpening my ax. It's the same with nearly everything in life. The better you become as a man, the easier everything else becomes. You don't want to spend all your time trying to pull girls because you ain't worth shit. We can spend all that time. <laughs> you can spend all that time becoming worth shit, and then you can pull girls quickly and easily. Go. I pull girls on accident. Go. I just end up on a stream. Now I've got a fifth wife. I'm just chilling. Go. Some of girls are like, please, please. I don't have to do anything because I did all the hard Bro, work. Bro, look at all you dick suckers swimming fast. Bro, Who donated one dollar? How big is Andrew's dick? That's a, you know what? I'm gonna actually answer that question. Give me a second. Because I have the biggest dick in the world. <laughs> bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. I have the biggest dick in the world. Prove it. I'm gonna. I've got a certificate. Hold on, don't show this stream anything, bro. Please, I don't wanna get banned today, bro. I really don't wanna get fucking banned. Do not show the stream, Andrew. Andrew, 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 do not show the stream your dick, bro. I'm gonna get banned. Please do not, please, bro. And that's Haram, isn't it? Wait. 
Did you go? Not yet. Fuck. Chat, what pack are we smoking on, bro? Right. I have the biggest stick in the world. Now, let me explain to the to Twitch first why I have the biggest stick in the world. Obviously, I'm top G. You know girls don't like big dicks, right? Shut up and listen. Is that Making what they, is that what they say to you? Making Wish donated $1. <laughs> I've been in a wheelchair for 15 years, Aiden, and my friend just showed me your stream uh -huh. tonight. I just wanted to say thank you for making me get out of my wheelchair to turn your stream off. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole, bro. You're a fucking asshole. Bro. Nah. That's not even... <laughs> You're an asshole, bro. That's not even cool. Oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> you are boring, Aiden. Anyway. On point. I have the biggest dick in the world. Guys, I'm trying to say something important here. Yeah, don't interrupt with it. I have the biggest dick in the world. Nah. Yes, I do. Girls don't like big dicks. Is that what they say to you? Yes. Oh, Aiden, I don't like the big ones. <laughs> don't worry. They don't like it. Don't worry. We don't like the big ones. It's fine, Aiden. They I don't? Guess. I don't really like big ones. Is that what they say to you? You know why? Imagine, that, a, imagine a 12 inch dick inside you, bro. Aiden, you that, would not want it, bro. You would not go, ooh, 12 inches. You would that, not want it, bro. Is that what they say to yes. you? Yes. No girls want, I have a good sized penis. It's like seven and a half inches. That's all I need, bro. You don't want a big ass dick, bro. They don't want that shit. Let me tell you a story. They don't want a big dick. Let me tell you a story. What? When I was fighting the Matrix during the height of their attempted slander and cancellation attempt, and I call go. it an attempted cancellation attempt because obviously I am not canceled. You cannot cancel the top G. Somebody messaged me and said, Tate, you have the biggest balls in the world. You're going, up, <laughs> you're going up against the entire Matrix by yourself. You're the first person to say things that everyone thinks and are afraid to say. You have the biggest balls in the world. And I said, thank you. And then they said, so for that reason, I think you might have the biggest dick in the world. And then... I'm going to show you. I've got the biggest dick in the world. Officially, Top G has the biggest dick in the world. I mean... Oh, Lord. Help me. <coughs> bro, I think I'm getting, like, a high from this, bro. Did you put, like, fucking, like, PCP in this shit, bro? Like, angel dust? I'm, like, fucking tripping. Like, itchy, bro. What the fuck you put in here, bro? This motherfucker, like, drugged me, bro. What the fuck? Flurco donated one dollar. Pudgy Aiden. Look how Tate smokes that cigar like a boss. You got that shit to your lips, palm up like you're smoking cock. Yo, bro, you are dick sucking, bro. That's not even funny. I had a straight face, bro. Not everything is funny, bro. When you smoke, that is funny, because he's right. When you smoke a cigar, you have to smoke it like you're mad at the world. Okay. Is that your mad at the world face? <laughs> I'm a very nice guy. I don't really get mad at things. Here, all right, I got you. I'm a very sweet guy, bro. Where's your mad at the world face? I got you. I'm looking at you right now. I'm very angry right now. I'm going I'm to pretend like I just like... Is that because you're about to owe me $20,000? No, I'm up. Sister ah. donated $1. Aiden Where's Ross' sister has OnlyFans. Haram OR no it's Andrew? near the front door. Sounds haram to me. Wait, who's that? Georgiana. Near the front door with the certificate. Hi, Regiana. Hi. How you doing? Uh, hi. Please bring my massive dick. Huh? I'm telling you, I've got the biggest dick in the world. All right, let me try to hit this. That was good, yeah? No. Look at the camera, dude. Do, do, how you do it? The man donated $1. Hey, Andrew, how can I get out of depression? Please give some practical advice. You're Thanks. You're, you're an idiot because the night doesn't matter. I can do, yes you can, you can move it in L, are you dumb? Yeah, L here or here, not take the fucking bush bishop dummy. No, it's 2-2, two, two. oh you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, funnily enough, I'm right, as usual. Hurry up and lose and pay me my 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're an asshole, bro. Alright, hold on. Mindful donated one dollar. Top G, can you slap Aiden for me? No, he's not going to. You're not going to touch me. I have Aiden there. Ant's a big guy. Me and Ant, we know we understand each other. He does. He, he actually, I'm like Ant. Look, he just needed it. He'll be like, all right, safe. Yeah, he likes you a lot. Of course. You, you, sometimes you just have to slap someone up. Is it because real recognize real? Is that why Ant fucks with you and you fuck with him? Of course. Hmm. Right. So before I destroy you, because your destruction is almost complete, I need George John to hurry up with my massive dick. Bro, I don't understand. I've got the biggest dick in the world. By, you can literally put it in the Guinness Book of Records. Top G owns the biggest dick in the world. Because I have the biggest balls in the world. I ain't gonna lie, there's a guy named OG Mudbone. He has like a fucking like 16 inch like fucking like missile. How do you know that? Who knows this? Who is this? My guy? friend told me. Alright, go bro. It's your turn. 
Let me finish the story because this want to make sense. So when the guy emailed me and says, Tate, you have the biggest balls in the world. Yeah. He then said, I have a gift for you. X me. I don't know who this person is. And I was like, okay. And I gave him my P.O. box and he sent me. Bro, I'm getting high from this. Fuck. I'm good, bro. Go. Say what you're going to say. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go. He sent me the biggest dick in the world from a whale and said, now you now officially own the biggest dick in the world to go with your biggest balls in the world. Bro. If you put a whale dick on my Twitch stream, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to try to fuck you up. That would be very entertaining to watch. It would. I'm really so, going to fuck you so up. So for the sake of the fans, it's pretty important that I do that, right? So that we I swear to God, it. I will fucking throw this shit and fuck you up. You, you swore that to God? No. <laughs> I'm just used to saying that. Yeah, you should be more careful with your words. Sorry. I will. It's fine. So I own the biggest dick in the world, which Georgiana is now bringing with a certificate, officially the biggest dick ever found on any... On so you're telling me right now, you spent your money. I didn't know. Someone sent it to me as a gift. On a whale's dick. A whale dick, yes. A whale's penis. The biggest dick in the world to go with my biggest balls in the world. I hear her coming. She's coming with my dick, yes. I own the biggest dick in the world. All right, So you ask how big my dick is, I'm about to show. All right, buddy. Hold the fuck up. I don't think I can show that. Why? It's a dick. It's animal part. It's a fucking dick! Just say it's a finger. It's a whale finger. Do whales have fingers? They do now. Jesus! God damn! Bring it in, George. Hold on! Oh! Show, show, show on camera. I actually, I got my certificate. Well, well, I'm at it. Yeah. I got my certificate for my biggest oh, dick not, in the world. It's not even a dick, yeah. I mean. Show, show the camera. To you. It's, not a, it's not a real dick. I don't hold my own dick. He's bigger than girls, you. girls, girls, girls. Wait, what do you mean it's bigger than me? Wait, 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 wait. What? Can you actually see? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not a real dick, Chad. So nobody I, take it weird. I don't really handle my own dick. Chits handle my dick for me. Thank you, G. How much? Or how? So I've got a certificate here. I officially have the biggest dick. Top G is the biggest dick. Yeah, just put my dick there. Thank you. Okay. That's how big my dick is. It's not a real dick, by the way. What do you mean? Oh, you twitch, you twitch. Twitch me, the baby. S stop. You're so fucking lame, G. Who, me? Yeah, so lame. Wait, what is I going to... No. Grips 2x donated one dollar. Where'd you just go? Tate, would you fuck Pudgy's girlfriend, Pammy? I don't have a girlfriend. Who's Pammy? My ex. Let me see her. I'm gonna give her a rating out of 10. Let me see her. Brother. Fine, you know what? Fine. But brother? Um, I'm not gonna try and assault you. Oh, my friend, my friend said, uh... It's gonna be honest. I got honest. you. I'm gonna be honest. My, my friend said, uh, are you and Jake Paul fighting? I don't think me and Jake Paul are gonna fight. There's a lot of negotiations behind the scenes. It's not a simple process and actually between you and I I actually quite like Jake it's Logan who's full of shit yo you don't can I call Logan or now no the day me and Logan speak it's not gonna be for some twitch stream bullshit. that's my ex she's cute it's too good for you she left you right bro what the fuck well obviously she's gonna leave she left you right no but are you together mutual mutual <laughs> Mutual, yeah. You didn't want pussy no more. That's not your... No, of course you want to fuck her. It's not mutual. You want to still bang her, and then she's like, no. And then it's like, oh, let's pretend it's mutual. She left you, right? Let's cut the bullshit, G. No! Mutual! This fucking guy, bro. This guy thinks he's like fucking Drewski, bro. I have to spit. What? I feel like I'm Drewski. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm trying to be a comedian. Bro, my heart is racing fast with this, bro. I'm not God. joking. I'm just... No, I gotta show off this, bro. What the fuck you put in that? Yeah, it's a really strong cigar. You can't smoke them that fast if you're a pussy. So she left you. Bro, why, I'm actually... Why'd she, why she leave Wait, you? am I actually not supposed to smoke that fast? Well, if you're a bitch. Well, if you're a bitch, you can't do lots of things. I know. I, I can do whatever I want. Bro, I'm actually... So when, why did she leave you? Huh? Why did she leave you? Uh, she's all right. She's quick. She's cute. Why'd she leave you? Mutual. That's cut the shit. Why'd she leave you, bro? Because as a man, there's no such thing as bro. mutual. Bro. No, listen to me. I'm having a panic. Listen to me. As a man, there's no such thing as mutual because if you have control over All right, my chat knows because I tell them everything. Chat, was it mutual? Yes or no? Don't dick suck, bro. Mutual. Was, was it mutual? Do not dick suck, bro. Mutual. What Watch. You... Look. Oh, I'm Nick sick. Is that a thing? Yeah, Nick sick. Too much nicotine. Control. Yeah. Because you're a pussy. You didn't warn me, bro. I'm like fucking tripping balls right now, bro. Because you're a pussy. You're an asshole, bro. I didn't fucking... See, they're saying... They're saying no. Whatever, bro. All my fucking dick. Let's go. Bro, you know... First, let me get more nicotine in me so to prove the world I'm not a bitch like you. But also, no, I want you to understand something. Let me explain something to you, Aiden. I hey, Kate donated one dollar. 
Shut up, Pudgy Aiden. <laughs> bro, you, bro, that is not funny, bro. You've been hearing the same thing like Woo! 30 times, this bro. This is sick. This is the best dig ever, text to speech. I didn't know this existed. This bro, is you guys are dick suckers, bro. This is bro. amazing, this is amazing. Right, anyway, Aiden, listen to me. I have 32 cars. Now, the reason I have so many, the reason I have so many, focus, Aiden! All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. The reason I have so many is because I don't sell them. And I don't sell them because I don't see the point in selling them. I can just buy a new one, even though I don't really want it anymore. I just leave it on the drive to chill. Are you gonna throw up in my house? If I throw up, would you get mad at me? I would beat. The, I would throw you off that balcony if you threw up. But I make it. There's a pool, but it's a long drop. All right, let me just chill. I'm good. I gotta rub my knees like this. Sure. I'm trying to tell you a story. I'm trying to prove to you it wasn't mutual. Please okay. Focus. I'm sorry, bro. I'm fucking locked in. I'm sorry, bro. Fuck. I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm good. I have 32 cars. Okay. The reason I have so many is because yeah. when I buy a car, even when I buy the upgrade, I don't sell the original because there's no point in getting rid of it because I don't need money. So I just keep it like as a garden art, right? Because okay. what am I gonna do? Sell it for like three, 400 grand like a brokey? No, stupid, just keep it, right? It's a lot who? of money, bro. To who? People don't even make 400 grand in their lifetime. To who? Anyway, so I just keep it. Women for a man, are, excuse me, it's my move, listen. Women to a man are pretty much the same. Like, if you're with this chick and you didn't want her anymore, you wouldn't get rid of her. you just keep her, get an upgrade, and then just, like, see her once a month, and she'd be upset all the time, texting you, like, I love you so much. You'd be like, yeah, I'm busy. And you just keep her on the DL and, like, in the back burner. You don't have to get rid of her because it's no effort when you're a top G. You just keep them. You just have all this garden art. You have all these chicks who are just obsessed with you, and you just keep them and barely see them, make no effort. Every birthday, you get, like, 100 presents from all your hoes that are... No man gets rid of a chick. So the fact you're saying it's mutual means she wanted to leave you because I could say right now to all my women, I don't want to be with you anymore. They wouldn't leave. There's no such thing as mutual. They literally would just spam my phone and beg for my attention for the rest of human time. So there's no such thing as mutual. Real G's don't get rid of chicks. They just stop seeing them and keep them anyway on the back burner like the garden art with my cars. She wanted to leave you and I'm asking you why. Do you even know why? Have you even calculated why you got fucking dumped? No. <laughs> and that's why you're gonna stay a dummy. You need to sit and right. analyze, right. analyze where you fail. I need water, please. Why did she leave you, Aiden? I don't know, I don't know, bro. And it's honestly to God, no, that's not what happened. Is it because she doesn't like the big ones? Bro, not all girls. I'll call girls on my phone and I'll ask them, yo, how, what's your preferred dick size you like to fuck? You just lost the night. Excuse me, what did you just do? I just took your fucking knight with my pawn. How? Because it was under attack, and I thought you were gonna move it, but if you moved it, you'd lose your queen, because it was pinned. I didn't go. Because you're a dummy. I, I took your pawn. <laughs> anyway. Just go, bro, holy fuck, can I have water? All right, here, I'll just have this one. Don't get mad at me for drinking still water. I'm sorry, I'm not drinking sparkling, but that shit's bullshit, bro. Tatair donated one dollar. Hey, Tate. Sometimes I dress up my dog in my sister's clothes when I fuck it. Does that make my dog a role player? What's the sign? Sometimes I dress his dog. He says sometimes he dresses his dog up when he fucks it. I mean, I always say it's not funny. Hold the fuck up. Okay, wait a second. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping off the nicotine, bro. They, you put some shit in it, bro. I think there's like, like fucking like crack in it or some shit, bro. That was not funny at all. I swear to God, it wasn't funny. I didn't laugh. I mean, I didn't mean to laugh. It was haram. It was very haram. Okay, go. I just went. Yeah, it's my turn. No, I didn't realize what was said, chat. All right. Bro, I... Nah, all right. Let me just say one thing, bro. Beast... KSI donated $1. Hey, Pudgy. Dude. Seriously, bro? There's only one way to stop this happening, Aiden. There's only one way to fight back against the forces of truth. You must change reality, Aiden. You stop being pudgy, they can't say it anymore. Don't you understand the power is in your hands? You're the only one who can fix this, Aiden. They're gonna bully you for the rest of human time. Are you gonna live your entire life bullied? Is that who you're gonna be? A victim? Or are you gonna get in the gym and do something about it? I do something about it, go. So when I see you again, you're not gonna be pudgy anymore. Yes, I won't. I'm not even pudgy, I'm like a normal fucking kid. Normal? I don't, I don't hit the gym, bro. This is what a normal person looks like. Alex G normal. donated $1. Hey, Andrew Tate. I just want to say thank you for motivating me to be a better man and the Matrix is ruining this world and making everyone soft. More people should listen to you. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. And that's what I'm here to do, especially with Aiden. I'm trying to motivate him right now. You just said you're a normal man. Let me explain something. The normal man is not acceptable in this hyper-competitive world. Normal means in the middle. 
middle is not good enough. You must be the top 10%, the top 10 percentile, especially as a man. All the women want the top 10%, all the money goes to the top 10%, all the status goes to the top 10%. You cannot be a normal man anymore. Perhaps 50, 60 years ago, you could be a normal man with a normal job, have a normal life and a normal wife and a normal house and a normal car and be happy. But the world we are now living in is proving that being a normal man is nothing more than slavery. They've just proven it to all of us. Listen to me carefully. They just proved it in these last three years of this imaginary fucking garbage they were fucking locking us all up for. Being a normal law-abiding citizen with a normal income and a normal wage and one passport and a normal wife is going to leave you depressed. Sooner or later, it's just going to leave you and you're going to end up fucking suicidal and miserable. Only men on this earth who are happy in the modern world of hyper-competitiveness are exceptional individuals. Men like me, I am happy because my reality is perfect because I am perfect. I am an exceptional man. If you're a normal man, nothing awaits you besides misery and pain, Aiden. Don't you understand? The only possible human experience as a man which is worth living is a man of exceptionalism. You can't be normal anymore. It's going to get worse as time goes on. As social media and clout and money and all this garbage continues to pollute society, every single woman wants one of the famous, rich, and super important, tall, strong, fucking handsome, top Gs. Being a normal dude ain't going to cut it. You know the problem with being a normal dude? I'll tell you the problem. If you're a normal guy, your chick fucks normal guys. Guess what that means? It means everyone's competition. The guy who delivered your pizza might just take your bitch. Is that the life you want to live? No. I don't have to live that life. Do you know why? Because there's nowhere to replace me. What I was saying earlier about I don't have to get rid of women, I can just keep them and just message them six months later and they're just sitting there waiting for me. Well, how are they going to replace the top G? They don't want to date down. No. They've already reached the pinnacle. It's like climbing Mount Everest. There's nowhere else to climb. You have to be the top of the top, Aiden. Otherwise, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer for eternity. Let me put you into something else, a perspective. I love you. Thank you. When someone says I love you, what do you say back? Thank you. You've never told you I love you too to a girl? Carry on with the perspective. Okay. Love is the strongest thing in this world. Agreed? Cargo Bob underscore no, underscore underscore me. underscore donated one dollar. Aiden was talking shit on your name, I'm Andrew. Not. You know I didn't do that. You know wait, this. wait, wait, wait. When were you talking shit? She just believe him, bro. Yeah. So, she no, believe no, him. No, no, I'm asking. I never talk shit on your name. Pull up a clip. Pull up a fucking clip. Tweet at me right now. I never talk shit about your name, bro. I would never do that. I, I like, I, no, here's what I have said about you, though. I said I agree with, with what Andrew says, but sometimes he may go a little bit. Eh. So you talking shit. That's not talking shit. You call me fucking pudgy. You call me fat. You call me a bot, you call me a fucking NPC. I tell you the truth about yourself. They're saying I'm zesty posture. This is zesty posture. I'm a beacon of truth in a world of lies. You know what 100% crack on everything. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a beacon of truth in a no world man, of lies. No man is perfect except God. Do you agree? God's not a man. I'm a beacon of truth. Okay, fair. I'm a beacon of truth in a world of lies and deception. Okay. Now hurry up and lose your chess game. I want my 20 grand. I'm tolerating me. A pawn does not move. Forward. Sorry. It's fine. ITSS Haji donated $1. Aiden, you better suck a fart out of Tate's ass. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. It's Haram. That's Haram. It's Haram. Okay. Where did you just go? I'm passing. Oh, that means this guy, right? Yes. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. Knight underscore war donated one dollar. Andrew, how do I get over the situation? My XGF is sleeping with someone older than me. I feel depressed and frustrated. Thanks. You make sure it never happens again. How do you make sure it never happens again? You have to understand and analyze. This is what I was saying earlier. That's actually very important. I said to Aiden, his girl left him. He's convinced himself it's mutual, which isn't true. He has not even analyzed and worked out why she left him. You, it's like playing chess. When you make a mistake, like Aiden's made plenty, when your position is fucked, you need to analyze it. How do you get better? Hold on a second. Shut up! How do you get better at chess? Yeah. You sit and you play the game back and say, where did I make a mistake? That's how you become better at chess. So when you play the game next time, you do not lose. Your chick left you. You don't know why. You haven't analyzed why. He's analyzed it as the guy was older than him. That's not enough of a reason because there's people older than me who can't take my chick. Hey, you have to understand why she left you. What did that man have that you do not have and how do you become the man who cannot be replaced, replicated, or competed with? 
This is what you must do. You must analyze the chessboard. So in front of here, in front of the stream, to help the man, because you care about your fans, to help the man here that we're trying to help. Why did your chick leave you? I mutually ended with her. Now, I'm not going to sit here and get bitched anymore. Men don't mutually leave chicks. We just keep them on the back burner and ignore right, them. All right, all right. Listen up, Baldy. Listen the fuck up, all right? Baldy. Baldy. Okay. You like that, huh? I have to talk back to you a little bit. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not going to sit here and get no bitched problem, anymore. No problem. No problem. Yeah. I came to Dubai for a fucking reason. I'm here. I'm playing chess with you. I'm here. You didn't want to come to the States. I came to you. I came to you. I'm not a fucking pussy. I came. 14 hour flight to you. To talk to you. To meet you. I'm not going to sit here and get fucking bitched. I mutually left. It was mutual. Mutual. Why? I didn't get left. No. I didn't get left on the dirt. Why, you... why were you unhappy enough to leave her? Because in my life, I feel like I'm in a different place. Mentally. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Why would you be in a different place to your woman? Because if you're in charge, she'll be in the same place you tell her to be in. Bro, listen to me right now. I'm going to explain it to you how it works. Sometimes you just don't even want to bring people with you in a road you're trying to head in. I was heading down the dark, the dark path of my life and I didn't want to bring her in it. And I, I said, fuck it. And I wasn't mute, And my mind was in the right place. And I was bringing people down with me. And I just, listen. How do I, play, how do I explain this, bro? All right. Sometimes I don't want to drive my older supercars on the rally, but I just keep them in the house. Listen, bro. I'm going to tell you. Right. Just leave the car in the house and bro, just look at it. Bro, brother, sometimes. brother. I don't want to do that to somebody. Imagine. It's not a bad thing. No! Let me talk. You, I'll let you fucking talk. It's listen, not a bad thing. Just listen. Listen to me. I don't want to put someone on the side and be like, not really be done with them and, and once a month send them flowers and shit. That's wrong to do to a girl. That's wrong, bro. I don't want to do that shit. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not, bro. No, I'm not doing that, bro. If, if you, if you're with one girl, you show her attention. You love her. You don't fucking lead her on. You don't fucking plant shit in her head. You don't fuck her up mentally, bro. That's how girls get fucked up and they, and they do shit. And, and, and I'm not doing that. I'm not playing games with a girl, bro. I'm not doing that. No, if it's over and I feel like it's over and she is mutual, not there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm coming. Just hold on, hold on. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, here's flowers. Month later, come pull up. No, that's some fuck boy shit. I'm not doing that, bro. I don't give a fuck. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You're wrong about that. And that's the truth. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can say L all you want. I don't care, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing that, bro. No. If it's over, it's over. Move on to the next. Straight well, up. Let's assume what you're saying is true, even though it's not. Let's assume it is. It is true. Quiet. The fact that it's mutual means there still must have been reasons why she was also happy to leave. So why was she happy to leave you? This is what I'm trying to identify. And I'll explain it. Not and I'll explain it because she was in a place mentally where she feels like, okay, maybe it's time has come. I'm going to do my own thing. He does his own thing. We both mutually agree that that's, that's what it was. And that's what it is. Okay? And that's what it is. And that's life. And people grow and people become better versions of themselves. Trauma, guess what? And you, and you can agree with this. When you go through something traumatic, Andrew... You become a better person out of it. When you go through heartbreak, you become a better person out of it. Completely. Okay. So why did she want to leave you, Aiden? I mutually agreed with her. It's over. And she. Why did she, no, I didn't say you. Why did she want to leave you? Maybe because in life it wasn't. That's thing what I, was she unhappy about? I wasn't putting. I wasn't spending time. I, I was. I was in. A, I was in a hole. I was in. The, I was in a. Um, I was in a bad spot mentally. I was, and I don't want to bring people down with me. There were times where I would literally sit and do nothing all day and rot in bed because I had some fuck shit going on in my life. So I don't want to bring her in that dark hole. That's the truth. I wasn't going to fucking bring her in it. So I felt she, guilty. So she left you because you were low energy. Have you ever been in a time in your life where you're in a really fucked up spot mentally and your energy's really fucked up and you kind of want to just be by yourself because anyone that you pull in, it's going to fuck them up too. Your energy's very contagious. Energy's contagious, Mr. T. So... That's how I saw it. I'm like, I don't want to put anyone else through this. I wasn't seeing family, no friends, none of that shit. I was staying, sleeping till 8 p.m., doing nothing, eating like shit, fucking not doing shit. So I was like, fuck this shit. I'm not bringing her with me. I'm not doing that. So you were acting like a loser, and that's why she wanted to leave you. Exactly. Sure, I'll take accountability. Okay, so, 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 that, so we're getting there. Yeah. You were acting like a loser, and that's why she wanted to leave. Okay. So how do you make sure girls don't want to leave you anymore? Not act like a loser. We got there in the end. Okay, we? come on. We, we agreed. We got there. But one thing I will say is this. If you, if you, if you tell a girl, hey, it's over. Don't just make shit over. Don't play her. Don't fucking cheat. I'm not playing her. Hold on a I'm second. Not you did say something like that. You said, "Oh, send her. Oh, hey, what's going on in a month or no, flowers? Not. Birthday, I'm, I'm gonna get hundred birthday presents." Listen, just, just, just let it be done. If it's done, it's done. No, but I'm, it's not about done. It's about layers of importance in the hierarchy of your empire. No. Yes, it is. No. When we're on that island, brother, no. I know what you're trying to say. The reason he's doing this is because when we end up on the island and I have all 50 bitches and there's that one chick, the ugly one, who I don't see, he's hoping I'm going to send her to you. No, she stays mine. I'll no. just see her once a year. I, you will not have all She's 50. mine. You will not have all 50. I'll have all 50. And they're not like chips. They're not like piece of candy. They're beautiful women. All women are beautiful. I, of course, that's why they're all mine. 
No. I, I, want, I, want, I want one. I don't want, you can have 49, I want one. I want to fall in love with one. I want to have children with one, and I want to treat her like my queen, and that's it. And you can have 49, you can do whatever the fuck you want with them, but I want one. I want to treat her like the queen and like she's the only girl in the world. Call me a fucking simp. I don't give a fuck. That's how I, that's how I envision things. Hey, you can be in love with one woman. I'm a lover boy. You can be in love with one woman. Yeah. But you can still have the other 49. I don't want it. So when your genetic legacy. That's what's the problem with this fucking. When uh, you're, shut up. When your genetic legacy. All right, motherfucker. What? We're not going to do this now. Next time I visit you, though, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know. Well, it's funny. Yeah. When your genetic legacy goes to war and mortal combat against my genetic legacy, your one son against my 38, you're going to be decimated off the face of the planet. Sorry, no. My one son is going to be a, a professional machine gun killer. He's going to take a machine gun, see all your little tapes running, oh, ball, ball. oh you fucking left and split the earth's core. My, my son's going to be like, goodbye, goodbye, Tates. And that's how it'll be done. This is going to be an interesting island. It will. It'll be a very good Twitch stream. It will. What are you going to do about the fact that your rook is hanging, I'm about to pin your queen to your king, you're a piece down, you have no control of the center. What are you going to do about this? I'm going to take control. Let's go. All right. Let's see here. Go ahead, mate. Really, chat? There you go. Raul donated $1. Tate make this weak bitch to do push-ups. Ah, oh, he's got a little picture of me. That's badass. What the fuck? Oh, look, it's a little Tate picture. G. Top G. I like that. How many push-ups can you do, Aiden? I don't know. Probably like 100. You can do 100 push-ups? I could probably do more than you. Oh, my God. Why are you lying to yourself and the stream? I'm a competitive person. Why Guess what? You lying? Even, though, even though I can't do more than you, I know I can't. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have that mindset where I can. Okay? You can't do 100 push-ups. I can't. Probably like, realistically like 30. Dude. Oh. Okay. How am I doing, chat? How am I doing? How many pushes do y'all think? Uh, first of all, how many pushes do y'all KCP I donated $1. Drop down and give US 10. Pudgy boy. What'd you just go, mate? I just moved my night here, Pudgy boy. Hey, seriously? Wow. You know what's crazy? I asked you something. I said, can you name one bad thing about yourself? I can name bad things about me, of course, because every, everybody's, no, nobody's absolutely utterly perfect. Except God. Except God, yeah, that, that, that's not a person. Um, but no, it, we're, we're all on a continuous journey for self-improvement. And if you try your absolute best every single day, then you don't have to look at what's bad about yourself. It's not about where you currently are. It's about where you're headed. The path I'm headed on is the same path that I've always been headed on. I've never made any large mistakes in my life, Aiden. I've never been the guy who was a drug addict and went to rehab or the guy who was depressed and became better. I've always been the person who woke up every day, did what he was supposed to do, tried his hardest, was honest, never lied, was on time, worked hard, and got exactly where I wanted to be in life, and now the entire world is mine. I'm the most Google person on the planet with hundreds of millions of dollars. I am the top G. And the way I am headed, I'm gonna do nothing but continue my ascent into absolute achievement. This is who I am as a person because of my daily habits. So I can sit and say, yeah, there's some areas in me I would like to improve, but I know that that's gonna happen naturally during the course of my life because I don't take mistakes, I don't take days off, I don't lay in bed, I don't eat shit food, I don't do any of that crap. Every single day is a day where I become a tiny bit better and as that compounds across my life, I'm gonna die as the greatest human, greatest individual to have ever lived on the planet. So you believe right now you're the greatest human being? No, I said I'm going to be. But you will be the greatest human being. I believe if I work as hard as I possibly can day after day and outwork all, good of, mindset. My, and outwork all of my competitors daily as I have always done, then I will eventually end up as the number one best human on the planet. It's a great mindset. You have a great mindset. Thank I love you. that. I think, I, will, I think I'll be the greatest human being of all time too. But you don't try very hard. I don't, but I will when it's time. What? It's, it's always been time to try hard, Aiden. The time is not later. The time is, you're, way, you're late. I would think I'm ahead of the game a little bit. You're ahead of the game in some areas, but you're late in others. When you're I was right. when I was 22, you I would were, I, I would beat the fuck out of you. No, you wouldn't. If you touched me, I would sue you. You would not touch me. You would not touch me. That doesn't mean I wouldn't be able to beat the fuck out of you. You would be able to, but you can't. Two reasons why. Number one, I'd sue you. Number two, I ban. So you wouldn't be able to do shit. Just being honest. No, but we're not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm actually. You're saying you're able to. Yeah. Of course. I agree. At 22, you should be as strong as an ox. Now at 24. I will be strong as an ox, and my 24-year-old self, let's see where I'm at, we'll still be friends. 
and we can pull a picture of you when you were 24, and I'd beat the fuck out of you at 24. Watch, when I'm 24, that's Kobe year. RIP Kobe in the fucking chat. When I'm 24 years old, I would be strong as an ox. I was world champion at 25. So at, 20, at 24, I was British champion, and I'd had maybe 40 fights by then. Are you sure? 40? I'll find a picture of me at 24. Jesus. 40, 40 fights. In fact, I think I have a video of me at 24. 40 fights is a lot. Uh, appreciate you, Lost for the Raid. Jeez, man. Anyway, let's, I, I need my 20 Gs. Come on, let's go. Let's get this over with. All right, my turn? Yeah. Where'd you move the knight out? I moved this knight here. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Andrew. Ali donated $1. Pammy broke up with Pudgy because his dick is smaller than the pawn. Smaller than a pawn. It can't be that bad, G. But the, they don't like big ones. Thing. You should be careful saying that. Bro, you are weird, bro. I'm just saying. I don't know if that's really true. That's what they say to, to guys who ain't packing. Wait a minute. Can you get my queen from that angle? It depends what you do. I'm, I'm attacking your queen now, yes. I'm attacking your bitch, Pammy. Rivalries donated $1. Andrew, yeah. what's your opinion on long-distance relationships? Don't Sorry, I missed this. What does it say? My opinion on long-distance relationships, they can work, but it's a whole bunch of... Yeah, do you really need one? I don't know. I think you can do better. Why is it long-distance? Because she's... Because what, you can't afford to live together or some shit? Fix your life. Fix your problems. Become a G. No such thing as a long-distance relationship when you have a fucking jet like me. Just send the jet, pick her up, boom, done. I don't need to go through long distance relationships. Send the jet, bring her here. Easy, peasy. Check. I've got Pammy, it's over. Pammy's gone. Unrated Pammy's donated gone. $1. Thank you, Mr. Tate, for adopting Pudgy Aiden and saving him from Haram LA. You're welcome. Saved from Haram LA, welcome to Dubai. Lost a bitch though. You're in trouble, Aiden. This game is absolutely and utterly completely lost. It's like, it's over now. You, like, as a computer, it just resigned. Wait. FME underscore Strix donated $1. Tate, how do you find motivation? Also, Aiden Pammy is getting smashed right now. He's getting smashed. I don't believe in motivation. I believe in divine purpose. What's your ex's name? I have a lot of exes. Do you want me to just give you a name? The one that hurt you the most. Hurt me the most? What's your name? I'm trying to think of a girl I, I, when I was younger. My age. I know you got heartbroken at my age. Every, uh, no, every man's been heartbroken. Not by your age. Maybe 15, 16 or something. Let me think. Uh, by your age, I had life done. So. Uh, why? Are you going to say a name? Just, you're not going to kill my bitch anyway. So she's cool. Your, your queen's done. I know. But I don't believe in motivation. I believe in divine purpose. Wait, it's my turn, right? Yes. I don't believe in motivation. I believe in divine purpose. And I'm going to check. Yes. I do not believe in motivation. I believe in divine And purpose. I have to move this piece? Did you see that one more time? <laughs> You're stealing value from your chat. I'm about to give them a rant of beautiful... Oh my god. Energy. Here we go again, bro. Holy so fuck. Be, Did you shut the be, fuck up? Be quiet. Shut be quiet the fuck. So they can listen and learn. I don't even know what to do. I do not believe in motivation. I believe in divine purpose. If you are struggling with motivation to become a better person, then guess what? Stay a fucking loser because there are men out there who do not suffer from this motivational problem. There's men who wake up and they want to be important and they will do anything it takes to become important. And if you're the kind of person who wakes up and says, I cannot find the go. gumption inside of myself to become an important and influential man, Can you I need motivation to do that, then you are a born loser. My divine purpose is bro, to rule go, earth. Bro. So that go. is why I do not need motivation to go. endlessly try and succeed. Go. The men who sit there and go, I Holy can't find fucking shit. The go, you bald bitch. Of my Holy shit, go. Please. Are you that desperate to lose 20 minutes? Just go. Heard the same shit. I'm the best human being in the fucking world. Check. Okay, your shit's gone too. You can't take backwards. You gonna give it to me? Blue Sticky Glue donated one dollar. Tate, can I'll you beat it. the shit out of that pussy Aiden so he it. can man up and stop being a brokey bitch? Is that what you wanna do? Is that what you wanna do? I don't wanna beat the shit out of him. I need to just remind him that his divine purpose is a higher calling than he's currently on. The path he's on is- Oh, uh, listen, all you dick suckers put it- That's great, you know why? Wait. Why, why is that great? Tell me how that- Wait! Great. You just took- Wait, I had a piece right here, bro. No, you didn't, you had a rook, which I just took. 
But how'd you take this guy right to your two? Of course I took it because it's because you moved it up. Colton so. donated Yo, five dollars. Nah, you cheated. What are I'm the steps to becoming a top G? Nah, you just took two pieces. The steps to becoming a top G? No, I didn't. First things first. Let's make this clear. This was here. This was here. It's your move. I went there. Yeah, and then you got me. Yeah, you and I took it. The steps to becoming a top G are absolutely not our self-accountability. Everything that happens in your life, whether good or bad, is completely your fault, which is why you must be analyzing the chessboard. The fact that his woman left him and he doesn't truly completely understand why and has not put a plan in place to make sure it is not repeated is why he will never be a top G. The other guy who complained earlier that a woman left him purely because the guy is older, again, is cope and fallacy. To be a top G, you must analyze yourself, look in the mirror, and understand that everything good that happens to you in your life is your fault. Everything bad that happens to you in your life is your fault. There's no such thing as luck. It doesn't matter if you get hit by a car while you're walking down the street. It's still your fault to a degree. You could have been paying more attention, been more perspicacious, did a ninja move like I would have done. Aikido backflip and jumped over the car. You are always accountable for everything. That is the key to being a top G. And also, then the universe favors you because everybody else in your life understands that you are that person of absolute competence and responsibility and accountability. Every person who knows me comes to me and they know I can fix any problem. I am that guy because they know that I self-analyze. My entire life is an analysis. Every single tiny mistake I'm perhaps have ever made has been analyzed to the point where I make sure I don't make it again. That's the beauty of chess. There's no such thing as luck. Every single thing that happens to you, regardless of how you lose the game, at some point in the game, you must have made a mistake to lose, even a tiny one, even if it was many, many moves before. Do you understand? I do understand the game of chess, yes. You're right okay. about that, yes. So, life is the same. You can't move there. You need to pay more attention, Aiden. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry, I can't move it, yeah, you're right. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. Check. You can't. Oh, you're Why right. Why did you bet me 20 grand? You must bet your fucking mind. And you're gonna Pudgy pay- Pudgy donated Wait. one dollar. Am I late? Pudgy, my girlfriend, cheated on me with my uncle and he's bringing her to the family Christmas. How do I handle that? Haram's not a real question. Check. 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 Christian Tate donated one dollar. Tate, please sing your theme song. Go. I don't sing. I'm not very good at singing. Check. Oh my God! Fuck! I'm fucked. Am I mate? Not yet. Twenty grand. 20 grand. I'm not playing, bro. I know. I'm not playing games. It's a bet, I know. It's a bet, I want my 20 Gs, I okay. want it. I'll give it to you. You got cryptic on MetaMask? You can give it to me right now. I don't got it on me right now. Of course you fucking don't. You carry your crypto on you? No, but I can get a MetaMask address you to send it to. You have your money. You know, you know I pay up every time. You know I will. Barry donated $1. Aiden is very desperate to lose 20 grand and will soon have to clean Mr. Tate's toilets. This is amazing. It's not. Because I'm going to be honest, bro. You guys are dick sucking, bro. No, this text-to-speech thing is, is... I've never seen this before. It's super good. You need more of this. It's good for you. It reminds you. Like, it's saying in your brain things that you need to hear. So I've got 20 grand. I've got the biggest dick in the world. Life's good. I'm winning. Are you winning? Yeah. You are. No, but you're on the Izzy path. Prime's you underscore could do card anything. donated $3. Aiden, you are a fat, stinky loser. <laughs> Get down and do at least 20 push-ups right now. Wow. Yo, this dick sucking from this Mr. Oh, Clean. Oh. Mr. Clean Vin Diesel looking fuck is not going to laugh at these fucking shitty donos. That wasn't even funny, bro. Like, what the fuck? Fat, stinky loser. That's beautiful. Bro, that was not even funny, bro. FSL. <laughs> FSL in the chat. What does that mean? I just told you what it meant. Think about it. Work it out. Fat, stinky loser. Correct. Let's see. Let me see the chat. Let me see if everyone types FSL. Oh, you guys are a bunch of dick suckers, bro. Maybe you are bad for the fucking youth. FSL. Maybe you are, FSL, bro. FSL. FSL. <laughs> no, this guy's bad for the youth. My How brother. am I bad for the youth? Why are you telling me the truth about Your yourself? Your eight fraud Andrew donated one dollar. Andrew, let's be honest. Aiden is ten x more successful than you, especially since you're like forty, buddy. Even Pudgy question. scammed his fans. He still got a bigger bag than you. Good. Andrew, good you're point. a he makes more money. L plus ratio, but no, no, but the, he made a good point, right? What? And this, he made a good point, right? What? So he's saying that I'm 40, I'm 36, I am way ahead of you, and at my at your age, I have no money. 
Okay. Right? So at your age, I was completely broke. Okay. And that's actually the reason why I talk to you the way I do because your potential is limitless. You have something that I didn't have at your age. At your age, I was struggling to find food to eat, right? Struggling to find money. You don't have to worry about that. So there's no excuse for you to not be in fantastic shape. There's yeah. no excuse for you not to have an iron mentality. There's no excuse not to have your life entirely in order. This is my exact point. You are in an advantageous chest position. You're just wasting it. Got it. This is the whole point of me talking to you well, in that general. That's why you brought the chess board. To teach you about life. Correct. And to win 20 grand. Okay, but to, to learn about life. Correct, yeah. Oh my God. So life is chess, Mr. Tate. Yes, it is. You got to think ahead. Oh. You got to think ahead. And I'll ask you now. Honest question, Aiden. Where, like your current life path, without me yelling at you and all the shit I'm telling you to do, right? Imagine I'm not around and you're just doing the normal stuff you do in LA and blah, 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 blah. Where does it lead? Does it lead anywhere good? Yes. Where? Where does it lead? What, what good is going to happen? If you continue to sit around LA, get swatted and hang around with boards, what, what good is going to happen? I'm curious. You're right. Nothing. You're nothing. So you have to look at the chessboard and plan ahead. You don't win chess by accident. I didn't do this to you by accident. I saw ahead. You have to see the future. You have to predict. All right, so Andrew, let me ask you a question. If you happen to be in my shoes right now, what would you do? What's the I'd first? Be, okay, the first thing I do is hire the best personal trainer on the planet. Okay. And I get a private dietitian. Okay. Because a strong body is a strong mind. Okay. You just described earlier the problems you were having mentally. They could be fixed with a strong body. Strong body, strong mind. I've become resilient uh, to the attack. Real quick, sorry to interrupt you, but I have to fart. Can I do it? Uh, do you want me to go sort of do it? When you have to fart, you let it out. There's no way you, you oh man, I don't fart. You fucking fart. I have to fart. I'm listening. I really am. I, I really want to listen to this, but go somewhere far away. All right. Can I do it right here? Far away. Outside. Okay. I don't know how to hold it. There's a door there. Oh. Uh, well. No. Keep going behind the curtain. Ananlal donated Thanks. $5. Tate, can you give Pammy advice for her OnlyFans? Is this a picture of Aiden looking fat? Oh, no. Some other fat, some other fat guy. That is me. Is that you? Yeah, but it's Photoshop. Okay. Do you still talk to Pammy? Nah. Not at all? Nope. Why? Um, Stripper it. Aiden's sister donated $5. Andrew, what's your take on Kanye and Pudgy? Get your lazy ass in the gym. FR Pammy needs a real mon stick. Fuck you. No, but you are in an advantageous position for your age and you are wasting it. I agree with you. So let's continue what we were saying. If you're my position, diet, dietitian, weight, uh, professional weight trainer, what else? Correct. Strong body is strong mind. You have to prepare yourself for the difficulties of life because trauma is going to come to you and God is going to test you. And right now you're in a very fortunate position where you get to sit on the internet and make money and just live this very easy life. And let me tell you something about life, my friend. God is not going to allow you to live this very privileged life for eternity. Something is going to happen. I don't know what it is. You might get banned. Something bad might happen to you. Heaven forbid. No, I'm just saying. Heaven forbid, I don't want these things to happen. Okay, okay, okay. But something bad might happen to you and you have to be the kind of man who is resilient to those things and prepared to fight against them. I'm saying you must build up your character points. It's very much like a video game. You're playing a video game and you know you're gonna reach harder levels in life. What do you do? You increase your strength, your stamina, you get more money in the bank, you buy better guns, because as you progress along the game of life, it becomes more and more difficult. And I'm saying to you, you are now sitting, coasting, thinking life's gonna be easy and it's gonna stay easy because you're in a very fortunate position. And I hope for you it does. But the probability of that happening is very low. The likelihood is that it's going to become difficult and you need to be ready for that. Got you. That makes sense to me. You're right. Because life's going to hit you with something like this out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. It happens. Whatever hit you that put you sitting in bed all day, whatever, whatever, was probably... It was bad. Okay. Well, it's going to, something worse is going to happen. Really? Of course it is. It's a yeah. guarantee. It's a guarantee on a long enough time frame that you're going to lose people you love. Fuck. And that something might happen. Fucking Twitch might go out of business. Who knows? You need to be the kind of guy who wakes up in a bad position and goes, okay, everything's fucked, but I'm a superhero. You can't rely on the outside position being favorable. It doesn't matter. Look at what happened to me, bro. When the Matrix attacked me, I knew it was going to come, but they attacked me absolutely and completely. They tried to destroy me, not just online, not just deleting my social media accounts, blocked all my bank accounts, took millions and millions of dollars, legal cases for things I didn't even do, uh, slander in the news, attacking my family, etc. all this garbage. If I was the kind of person who collapsed under pressure, I would have ended up in bed sitting around crying, being useless. Instead, I got up every single day at 6 a.m. and I defeated them. I have defeated the Matrix. I'm the first person to ever be canceled who became more famous than before they were canceled. I won. I beat the most powerful machine that exists on the face of the planet. Do you think I did that through luck? No, through absolute mental resilience, through hard work, perspicacity, indefatigability, the fact that I can look at a chessboard and see ahead and plan. This is exactly how I beat them, Aiden. 
Because I am me. You knew what was happening. I'm top G. Because I'm the kind of guy who doesn't give up and doesn't quit. Unmatched perspicacity. The ability to see and perceive what's happening. Coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. This is who you must become to be a top G. This is what I'm trying to teach you and train you to become because on a long enough time scale, you're 22, I'm 36. Across the next 14 years, you're gonna go through some shit. And you need to be ready for it. Fuck, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. And you need to be ready for it. it you it, cannot it. just be sitting in bed moping, moping about it. Yeah, you you're need right. to prepare it's, it's inevitable for like deaths to happen. Absolutely. It's inevitable. Are you God forbid? Are you, like you, you said, God forbid. Knock on some wood, yeah. Are you prepared for war? No. You need to become prepared for war. That's this is life. You need to prepare yourself for war. Tomorrow's not promised either. You're right, everything has to happen now. And the only person who can do it is you, yourself, as right. a person. Damn, bro. You're right. I gotta do shit now, bro. I don't have enough time. You never know when it's your, you never know. That's fucking crazy, bro. Holy fuck. I just feel so fucking alive, Top G. Holy fuck. When nah. the cigar is up, I'm done. So we have about another 15 minutes. Fair. Um, we'll play another game for 20 grand? No. Leave me alone. I want to talk to you. And I, wanna, I want you to touch some more people's lives and shit. And I want you to help me out. I came to you for a reason. You see something in me. I know you don't like people. What the fuck do you see in me? You see something in me. Correct. What do you see in me? I think you have the ability to be semi-likable. Semi. You already like me, though. Semi-likable. And I also think you're, like I said, in an advantageous position, especially financially and influentially. I think that you will one day understand that the black hole of hedonism grows old and tired. And that one day, maybe not now, but when you're perhaps my age, will look back on the impact you had on the world. And it, you will find true joy and happiness knowing that you've been good for the planet and it has affected people's lives. And there's a lot of people here who find affinity with you. There's and, people's lives already changed though. Good. But listen, I there's a lot of people who, who find affinity with you. They see themselves in you to, to, to a degree or they wouldn't watch you. My point is, by you going on a journey of self-improvement, by you now becoming the man who does amazing things, you're going to inspire millions and millions of other people. You can have a massive impact on the world. Aiden, listen to me carefully. Imagine you get in fantastic shape and climb Mount Everest. Imagine they talk about how you met Top G, he motivated you, you started working, started training, stopped doing dumb shit, stopped hanging around with whores, stopped wasting your time, trained, became a physical specimen, climbed Mount Everest, etc. All these people here watching it are going to be inspired to do more amazing things. The world will become a better place. God will be pleased with you. God himself will look at you, Aiden, and say, wow, he is doing what I want to be done on my planet. And you will be rewarded for that. So you're saying... I'm saying you can change the world. So me, okay, but me going into the gym, doing it for myself and doing what I want to do to become best for myself is going to inspire people. It's going to change the entire world. Now, a lot of other people at home doing it, good. It's going to affect their personal lives. It's going to affect the lives of their family. That's a good thing. Great. But you, you have the ability to affect people far more than that. It is a disservice to humanity for you to not become the best version of yourself because your journey will be watched. Your journey will inspire and, others. And this is the type of stuff that I agree. I just don't like sometimes some of the stuff you say, but this is the type of stuff I agree on. You're very motivational. What's something I say that you don't like? For example, I didn't like how you said, uh, for example, the X thing. It's, we don't want to go, I don't want to go back, but if you're done with the person, you're done with the person. Close the, close the chapter and go on to the next chapter in life. Leave that person behind. It's, uh, that's how life is. There's people you don't talk to today that you talked to 20 years ago. There's people you talked to today that you talked to five years ago, et cetera, et cetera, bro. And one thing about you that I, I realized too, it's you have good people around you too. I, no, I noticed that when I came to you, your brother, where, where's Tristan by the way? He's downstairs. Can I, can, he, can I say hi to him later? Perhaps. Okay. Um, he's solid, bro. You guys are solid together. And, and what happens is when you have people around you too. That's one thing you don't really touch on. I feel like you have to speak on good people around you also makes you more motivated and also brings the best out of you. Correct. So let's talk about it. Yeah. Relationships between people is always going to be a value exchange. Yeah. There's no such thing, unless you're being used like a fool, of you having all the value and the person, the people next to you having no value to add to your lives. Even the friends you talk to, they make you laugh, yeah. right? So they give you value, right? So by, by extension, how do you get good people around you? How? Think about it. It's a value exchange, right? You want to have good people around you. Every relationship in the world is built on an exchange of value. So how do you end up having good people around you? You have to, what do you mean? You have to, I mean, you have to choose. You have, you to, have to be a good person. Mm. Good people have good people around them. Yeah. Bad people have. Bad people around them. True or false? Facts. You, look at, you look at a thief. Who are his friends? Thieves. Thieves. Because he can't hang around with good people because he's stolen from them all. Uh, 
Do you understand? I do. So my circle is solid and they are good, valuable assets to me because I am a good, valuable asset to them. To them. The better a person you become, if you were to embark on this journey of self-discovery like we just described and you were to start taking your life very seriously, there'd be people who would come into your life who would be new and there'd be people who fall out of your life. Guess who's going to fall out of your life? The bad people. people. The bad people. People who are wasting your time. I agree with you on that. Wasting your life. I agree with you on that. And the people who would become, join into your life would be the people you're training with. People who want to climb Mount Everest with you, etc. The better you become as a person, the better your circle becomes. Which is why when people send me questions, and I get this a lot. Hey, Andrew, you know, my friend did this to me. My friend stole my girl. Some bullshit. Well, if you're hanging around with losers, guess what you are? A loser. A loser. If you're hanging around with snakes, guess what you are? A snake. A snake. There's no snakes in my circle. There's no losers in my no. circle. The best way to have a good circle is to be a good person. Life is very simple, and it will fix itself if you do the work. So yes, I have a fantastic network of extremely compendious, hardworking, reliable individuals because guess what I am? A compendious, hardworking, individual. reliable individual. This is how the world works. Got it. So the energy you give out is what you receive. It's almost like live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah. Got it. Damn, bro. That's crazy. I, uh, I promise you, because I know the next time we're going to see each other, you told me come to Romania. The next time we, uh, you see me, even actually we'll probably chat over Discord and text. The next time you visually see me, I will be better than where I am right now. I'm gonna actually, you motivated me to motivate them. And that's all I needed because the fact that you brought that to my head, now I really understand and this is my motivation. If I sit around like a fat, mopey piece of shit, it's not really showing them anything. But if on the side and I'm currently giving updates and stuff about where, what I'm doing in the gym and I'm progressing, yep. it's gonna motivate people. Because they're gonna be like, oh wow, Aiden had such a shitty mindset and he was laying around eating fucking chips all day and drinking soda. Fuck that. It's, it's, it's actually wrong with me to for them because i have an audience who watches me it's wrong with me to them if i don't become the best version of myself now you are starting to understand because no it's selfish it is it's selfish it correct. is because think about it like this i have a lot of eyes on me for a reason right correct there's no it's not just because correct there's correct. a reason yeah i have to provide significance correct. in some type of way and it starts with making myself better absolutely that's how you build a legacy i figured it out bro i'm that's actually how you build a legacy i killed my body i actually figured this out bro congratulations i look forward to your journey Oh my God, I actually figured it out. I'm not, I'm not even just trolling. Watch, bro. Watch what I do now. I have videos of myself telling myself, I'm going to blow up and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Now, I'm telling myself, my future self, Aiden, now is your time. Now is your time to use your resources. You don't have people like, around you like Ant and, and people around you with like Andrew who have mindsets built on building themselves up and becoming a good version of themselves. You need to be motivated. You need to be locked in. And it's your, and you guys motivate me, I'm going to motivate you guys in this camera. I'm ready, bro. I'm actually like so ready right now. As soon as I, as soon as I touch back down, I'm... I'm doing this shit, bro. I really am. I'm gonna get a good. I'm gonna get a, on a good diet, and I'm gonna really do this shit. And and and, and the times I said it before, I people were saying, "Oh, you said this a million times," but now you put in my head that it's for them. It is for me. It is, but it's gonna have an effect on them as well. You can't pour from an empty cup. The more you do for yourself, the more you can give to others. Exactly. You're right. The more I do for myself, the more I can give to others. My work is complete. Congratulations. You know this. I have work to do. I'm done. I fixed you. Where are you going? I'm ready, bro. I'm really gonna do this shit. Y'all don't understand, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna do this shit, bro. Like, I think, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's time, bro. It's time I needed this. I needed to come here for a reason. I was thinking to myself, I was like, why am I in a hotel room all day, every day? What am I doing in this hotel room? I'm calling my friends all day. I'm, I'm sitting around, not really doing shit in Dubai. Life is about making it the best version of yourself. But guys, listen. I'm not going to sit around and mope. I'm going to stream. I'm going to do things, but off and behind the scenes. And I'm going to have like a little page or something, like little vlogs updating you guys on my journey. I'm going to take pictures before and after. I'm really like not playing around this time. I'm 22. You know what I mean? And, and, and it took me a while to understand that. And, and you know it did. And I, I just want to say, bro, I, I think I'm ready, bro. I, I do. I, uh, I, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I think, I think at the end of the day, um, I want to let you guys know that it, it, you know I love you guys. You guys are my family, and I gotta prove to you guys that um, that this is it. This is what I gotta do, and this is everything I, I, I've worked myself up for, and I'm ready. And, and, and it's not even just on some shit words for me. I'm gonna get yo, eh, eh, come here.
Take a seat, bro. I'm still alive, but take a seat, bro. I don't even know if we're gonna fit in that shit. What's good with you? Bro, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. I'm, I'm actually ready. Like, Andrew, like, actually motivated me. Because I had to understand. Whenever, you, know how, you know how I blame it on you? Like, oh, Ant's supposed to get me to the gym. That's bullshit, bro. That's stupid as fuck. It's not your decision. It's my decision. It's my life. I gotta be the one to be like, yo, Ant, uh, 30 minutes. Get ready. We're going to the gym. It's me, bro. You can't be like, Aiden, knock on my door. Come on, come on. It's stupid as fuck. I figured it out. And the reason what really is motivating me now, bro, there's so many people that watch me, so many people that keep up with me. It's a shame. It's selfish. If I don't show them what I can do, because then they'll be able to never know what they can do. I feel like I, I'm putting this position. There's a lot of eyes on me, bro, for a reason. You got a lot of influence. If I show them that I can change my life, I can hit the gym, I can become a, have an amazing mindset and do things for me and, and, and love myself and, and, and fucking and do and, and, and lift and, and fucking transform into some beast, it's going to change lives because they're going to see it and they're going to want to do it too. So let's do it. When we start. As soon as we get back, bro. Yeah, I'm going to hold you to it. You don't even have to. I'm gonna hold you too. You gonna hold me too. I swear, bro. Say yeah, I think I think you need to hit the gym too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, because you've been having me eat a whole lot of hamburgers and yeah, French fries. No, no more of that. We need to get we need to get on a good diet too, bro. I'm ready. I'm not even fucking around anymore. If I don't do it this time, then I'm failed. That's how serious I am. Let me ask you a question. Did you um just low key try to call me fat though? No, I didn't try to call you fat, bro. You said I need to hit the gym. That was a joke. Your arms are fucking massive, bro. Your arms are the size of my fucking like two legs combined. Yeah, I was just trying to figure it out. It just sounds funny. I knew you didn't really mean that, right? There's only one thing that's fat about you. I knew that wasn't gonna last long before you. We're in the gym though, so we get back, I swear. You call me to it all you want. Even when we travel, even when we come to places like this, it doesn't matter. I still need to be in the gym. It's, it's a gym he has a fucking gym in here. Let's do it. I'm ready when you're ready. I'm always ready though. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Because you can never lose to one finger ever again. Never again. Not even two. You think you would be in an arm wrestle? For sure. Okay. Guys, I can't stream that. I already asked him before. He said he doesn't want to stream it because it might leak where he's at and shit. But I'm a, I can record content. If I if I go to the gym, I can record it. Yo, I want to let everyone know right now, um, gym stream right now, he, I can't, I can't, I can't because I, I, I can go work out right now, but I, I can't stream it. He doesn't want me streaming it. Um, I can, I can, but he doesn't want me streaming it. I got to respect this house. You know what I mean, chat? I got to respect this house. Um, golf stream, I will. I will, I will, I will. Bro. It's been fucking great, bro. Cause now I know my motivation is 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 it, it's it's you guys, bro. And I and I gotta do it for me, but it's it's for you guys too. I feel like I'm letting y'all down by not doing it, and I figure that shit out. Get Tristan. Let's see if Tristan wants to pull up. Hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me call up this motherfucker. I think. Stop talking, just do it, you're right. Chat, everyone's fam, just do it, bro. Hey, Tristan. Hey, Tristan. The fuck? Uh, why did you just do that, chat? Okay, for sure. He's handling some right now. All right, guys. Um, hello, not nah, he's actually like handling some shit. It's um, whose phone is on the couch? It's his, obviously. Wow, I just said, Tristan, do you want to say hi before I uh, end stream? He was like, nope. I said, okay, for sure. He said, I don't talk to nerds. Silky said, how's Dubai? I've been filming a lot. Uh, I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna have some videos, some stuff. I have a lot of content in, but uh, I'm not gonna say shit anymore, but I'm just gonna do this shit. Like, I'm, I don't even care anymore, bro. Like, I'm just gonna fucking do this shit. Like, what time is it for you guys, bro? How y'all are fucking with me? Like, and it's like, it's like mad fucking late where you're at. It's like 12 a.m. where a lot of y'all are at and fucking 3 a.m. and shit. And like, it's just fucking crazy, bro. Like, I'm, I'm on, I feel like, I don't wanna talk anymore. Bro. I just wanna fucking do this shit. Oh my God, I feel so fucking motivated. Like, I feel like I can like accomplish everything right now. You know what I mean? I don't know, I just feel really good. Like, I don't know, I just feel really, really good. I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna be on some shit and you guys are gonna see it. Um, do you guys wanna, um, and it's gonna build my mindset even better. Um, when is the next stream? Literally fucking uh, Monday. Monday I'm back and I'm, 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 I'm gonna get this shit going. Um, 
I just, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoy some more, some more days with, uh, make sure you guys all follow the stream. That's all I ask. Everyone right now, follow. I'm going to shout out some people subbing up. If you guys got that Amazon Prime, you know what I'm saying, chat? Um, make sure you guys follow the stream right now. Keep up to date with me. I'm going to keep up to date with you guys, bro. And that goes to anyone in life. A lot of you guys are already hitting the gym and shit, but there's something you can do to make it better. There's something you can do and you know and you know what it is. The thing is, you all know what it is in your life that can be better. Me right now, I'm in, I'm in a fortunate position, like he said. I, I have finances and I, and I have a good thing going for 22, but I never know when this shit could be gone. I really, I really don't. And the thing is, it's, it's, um, it's really fucking selfish of me to not, to not be, um, to not be on some shit, to not be doing this shit. And I'm not going to let y'all down and myself down. And that's that. Holy vibe. It's going to fire gift that I appreciate you. To my Twitch community. Sorry, I've been fucking dodging you guys, bro. Sorry. I feel like I do this speech a lot. I'm not even going to say shit. I'll be back when I'm back. And I'm not going to fucking, you know. Um, and that's that. I'm still going to be myself. I'm still Aiden. And I'm still going to grow. And as I grow, you guys are going to grow with me. But one thing I can say is I'm ready. I'm ready to transform into a fucking beast, bro. I really am. I'm ready. Um... Damn, his phone's right there. What if I just like hacked his crypto wallet and sent me all his ETH? <laughs> Kidding, I would never do that. Um, I'm gonna end this stream, guys. I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get some work in. I swear, I swear, right now I am. Right now I am. Um, but um, I love you guys. All you guys, do me a favor. Everyone, follow the stream right now and type a W in the fucking chat. If you enjoyed this shit, it was short and sweet. I can only do so much when it's not my setup. You guys gotta understand that. You deserve a better version of Aiden. You do. And you're going to receive it. You will. I got you. I swear to God, I got you. All of you. I got all of you, bro. I swear. All of you guys. All of you guys, bro. All of you. I'm going to keep everyone updated and everything. I love all of you with all my heart. You guys know that? I'm about to end stream. Can we see his wallpaper? You guys want to see his wallpaper? I don't know if I should do that. I can't expose. No. No, I'm not doing that. No. I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. One thing I will say is this though, to all you motherfuckers, this, this, this goes to all you guys, to all the motherfuckers in life that doubt you and try to shit on you, shit on them. I'm smoking all of your guys' ops pack right now. I'm going to smoke all your guys' ops pack in this fucking chat. If you're in this chat right now, you got some fucking ops, right? You got some fucking real ops, real haters, jealous ass motherfuckers, right? We're going to smoke their pack. Fuck all your haters. I'm smoking on all your fucking haters, chat. Anyone in this chat that's got someone that's on some jealous shit, some fucking weird shit, smoking on them. Fuck you. I love you guys with all my heart. Love you guys. Smoking on all your fucking haters. You guys are the best in the fucking world. Be the best version of yourself because I'm about to show you what I can do. Fuck starting in 2020, 2023. Fuck that shit. We start right now, bro. We start now. There's no fucking, tomorrow's not fucking promise, bro. T tomorrow is January 1st, the new fucking year. We're not going to wait. 